Welcome to T2 Asia Pacific Table Tennis League. After an entire regular season, we have finally reached the climax of this competition. The very last fixture where we find out which teams and players will make it to the grand finals. Waiting for them on the other side is the total prize money of 2 million US dollars. My name is Jun Yong, your host, and I personally had such a blast watching all 24 of our table tennis stars present to us the best of their game but there are also other sides to them off court that I've got to know and love as well so ahead of this very last fixture let's take a trip down memory lane of T2 APAC T2 APAC. Closing the regular season is Team JJ versus Team Mays. Men's Championship, Dmitry Otcharov is true to the final as he's on top. But Jun Mizutani second from Team Person with Timo Bo, Chuang Chi Yuan, Vladimir Samsonov and Chen Qian An all playing in this fixture. We will find out who will make it to the finals after this. Bottom half, it's not yet over for Alexander Shibaev when he goes up against Jong Yong Sik. They are level on point. Ladies and gentlemen, with 39. The women's challenge doesn't get any better than leader Liu Fei versus number five Feng Tianwei later. Because if Feng Tianwei collects more than one point, she pushes Ching Yi Ching, who have already played out of the grand finals. Bottom half, Yang Haiyun, Matilda Ekum, John Ji Hee, all three playing today. So come on, ladies, push your teams to the grand finale. Which brings us to this. Here are the permutations. If Team Mays gets five points, they will already be in second in the league, provided Team JJ do not get 16 points of more. So that's the 11 point difference. And now once Team Mays collected 10 points, 10 points is what Team Mays needs and they are true to the grand finale. So of course, it's Team JJ versus Team Mays here in this very last fixture of our regular season of T2 APAC. So now, let's introduce to you the home side. Team JJ, led by team captain, Jiang Jialiang, Matilda Ekong, Chuang Chi Yuan, John Ji He, Zhang Yong Sik, Liu Fei, and Vladimir Samsonov. That is the home side, Team JJ. And now, their opponent in this final fixture, Team Mays, led by Team Captain Michael Mays. <laughs> Yang Haiyun, Chen Chen An, Hina Hayata, Alexander Shibai, Feng Tian Wei, and Timo Ball. Please welcome our referee team, Pari Kalili and Chin Wi-Fi. All right, let's get both team captains right over here alongside me. This is gonna be really good. You already know the permutations. I let you know the points that needs to be won here in this very last fixture. Let's get the home side of things first. Xia Liang, today is the last day. 21分,你呢,就能夠進入決賽,或者你們要相差11分,這件事幹得到嗎?我相信能幹得到。Mates, uh, I will be to do it. Yeah, you look this, yeah. Can you wait? Can you wait? We, we, please. Okay, team. Ah, no, no, no. I just 
my team, I chose it myself. Okay, 你要给你的team有什么鼓励吗,今天? Uh, okay, so let's get Michael's side of things first, because JJ doesn't want to uh, talk too much today in the last one. Perhaps the pressure is getting to him. Your team has a better, easier journey to the final. What needs to happen for your side today? No, I mean, we need to win this match against Team JJ, and I'm not counting so much how many sets we need to win. We need to beat JJ team, and I mean, JJ is talking too much, so... <laughs> now, so now we will see on the table and we will beat his team and then we'll go back home. Ooh, Michael Mays has harsh words for Team JJ. Only 10 points Michael Mays and his team needs to step into the final. Team JJ, some but my team beat you. Listen, my team, yeah? Stand up, please. <laughs> yeah, no, stand, stand, stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, just stand up. Come, come, come. Yeah, I just say, win, 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 JJ team. Yeah. No, no, not enough louder. Please, loudly, loudly, please. Ying, 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 liang ge xing. Yeah! That was from Team JJ's side, giving all the moral support he can get. What about from Team Maze? Team Maze, come on! Team Maze, come on! Go! There you have it! Team Maze versus Team JJ is going down. Let's get straight into it. They are no practice. Okay, let's get straight back into business, as Michael has said. Thank you, Mike. Hey, but JJ, you don't, don't go anywhere. Coin toss, JJ. Matilda and JJ, let's get over here. Let's get straight into the first match of this fixture. Matilda Ekholm versus Young Haiyun. Let's allow the home side to pick a color on the coin. It is a home, so you don't win that, right? Red color for Zhang Jialiang. It's red, so Team JJ to serve. Good luck, both gentlemen. Well, we've had a lot of fun at the start of this one. This is the big one. It's the fourth day, sixth round, the end of the preliminary competition of the T2 Asia Pacific Table Tennis League. We are at the Pinewood Studios, Iskander in the southwest of Malaysia. And I tell you what, the atmosphere is fantastic. We've had some brilliant, brilliant matches over these six months of competition. We've got the Swede, Matilda Ekholm, the more experienced girl, 34 years old from Lincoln in Sweden, against the, the much more youthful, age 22, Young Haiyun, who actually in the first of the Youth Summer Olympics in Singapore was uh, the winner of two medals right there. You can see the, uh, the games won 30 all together, which is not going to put her in contention for a place in the final slots, the top individual events as the top four. And uh, Haiyun, of course, is uh, very, very experienced, uh, ranked at uh, 32, but she has been up to 12 overall in the world rankings, representing Team Mays. Team Mays in the lead at the moment, uh, as far as uh, these two are concerned, but with 248 uh, games won, and that's the crucial piece of information. The number of games won is going to be vital. Mays, if they win by a significant number, they will outpace Rossi in the final. The top two teams go through next month to the final. We've got the big one here, and I've got the big one with me as well, Jill Parker, former European champion in the singles. She's with me and will explain all there is to know about table tennis. Good afternoon, John. Looking forward to this exciting last match in round six. Serve absolutely vital. Yes, this, this is the time when a player is in most control. They can dictate what spin they put on the ball and what strokes they're going to follow in. Both players looking to attack the ball whenever possible. Well, again, the serve is dominating at the moment. A couple of errors, but nerves out there at the moment. Two-one. That's better. The drive took the top of the uh, net, perhaps uh, certainly an edge then. But we've seen Matilda in previous matches. She has blown hot and she's blown cold. Yes, I, I spoke to her um, earlier and uh, 
She said she's having difficulty with the, the time difference. She played in Canada last weekend, so uh, going through a few time zones can be difficult. Well, against Potter, she was absolutely fabulous. Came through after sleeping for the first two games. She then took the next three, and it was sensational. Oh, we're finding the edges three. here. Oh. Finding the edges, and it's a step ladder scoring at the moment. Three all now. Three all. Every game is absolutely vital to the team's chances of competing for that $2 million overall purse next round in December. Four, three. And a good placement there by Ekholm. Lots of deception on that through the forehand, wasn't it? Yes, play that lovely one down the line. Left, four, off. And a good backspin on that service. One thing I haven't mentioned is the clock at the moment. 24 minutes is the match. This is a, an innovation, of course, peculiar to the format of the T2 Let competition. It really adds a lot of pressure on scoring. Each game to 11, even 11-10 is possible. Five, four. And we're averaging around about four games. And we've got a kill zone game as well, which we'll talk about later. Five, four. Five all, this really is tight battle. A bit tentative at the moment. They're not opening their shoulders very much, keeping very close to the table. Left, five, all. Here we go, just as I said, they're staying close. <laughs> crowd are enthralled with this. Great camera work. Matilda is successful there. She's the one that was a bit more consistent. Great rally, Jill. It certainly was. Counter top spin for both players, backhand and forehand. Both moving it around the table. Nice stuff. Five, six. Left. Five, six. Left. Five, six. Oh, nervy, Five. nervy. Couple of uh, let services and then into the net. That's not good. Ekholm has got a two-point lead. Very important at this stage. Have they met before in the competition, Jill? Yes, they played each other in round one, and Yang won 3-2. Oh, it's going to be tight. We know that. That was an important point. She asked, keeps that uh, gap open, but JJ will be really pleased with the way that Econ started. Let seven, six. We've she's seen quite a lot of those let. Yeah, she served an awful lot of uh, net serves, so she's trying to keep it tight. No. Oh, ho, ho. Leveled up at eight, uh, seven all, but uh, really lucky there. Mays is delighted that she managed to pick that point up. There was a lot of good fortune on Ha Yun's side. Seven all. And three points in a row. Yes, uh, we're both feeling a little bit the nerves there. Mays' team. On their feet, encouraging their player. Let's see what serve she's going to do here. Oh, that was a very heavy backspin. She disguises her serve so well, Yang. Let's see what Ekholm can do now with hers. She'll be looking to serve and follow in if possible. And we saw that reverse serve, a lot of backspin. Ironic smile there. She knew that she'd read it, but couldn't actually finish off that shot at the back end. It's uh, 
first to 11. This is really crunch time, and they leveled up now at 9 all. And Matilda, I tell you what, she is really pumped up for this. You know that she doesn't want to let her teammates down or her captain. It's not so much the individual thing at the moment. It's very much the team program, which, which is what T2 is all about. It is, yeah. It's a, it's a great concept, uh, both men and women playing together, all from different continents. It's great to see the players. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that is now game point. Young has done really well to compete here and then comes up with a fabulous backhand right into the corner. Absolutely coffee book backhand close to the table. Excellent. Game point. First for me. Game point. Ten, ten, nine. Ten, nine. She's missed it, it's 11-9, and Mays gets the first game on the board, and that's such an important statement. You have to say that uh, we know that everyone is fighting for games at the moment. It takes them up, Mays into a 2-49. They've only got three, four more games required, and they overtake Rossi. So it's uh, it's an important one there. He's confident. No problem, no problem. The Dane, Michael Mays, won the European Youth Singles way back now, about 18 years ago. Bronze at the World Championships in Shanghai, in 2005. European Champions. He really is a colourful character. I think that's what you could say, Jill. Yes, very much so. Yeah, and he's keen for his team to do well, encouraging them. And so is JJ. Young Hallyun with the first of second game. Oh. And another error yeah. on the forehand side this time. There's, there's very much a little bit of turmoil in Matilda's head at the moment. She knew she had a great chance of taking that first game and missed out. That's better. A lovely backhand there. That time serving well and following in. Overall, Matilda picked up 30 games and Yang Ha Yun 34. But uh, neither of them have got a chance to go through to the individual finals. As you'll see it different from ITTF, they don't use the same ball, they can use many different balls in the game, and they get the saw one being thrown there, just to keep the pace going. She's hit that net and away several times. 4-1. Oh, that was wild. Yeah, there was a lot of spin on that ball. Ekholm likes to play, a step away from the table, Young. Plays a bit closer, so it comes through quicker. Oh. And I can't put a long serve in there. Just uh, changing the pace placement, which is very important. Keep their opponent guessing. Playing on that forehand and it paid off for all. That's better. Just that little bit of an extra height off the spin did the damage. And another one. Echo in the lead at 4 5. JJ is quite a tough taskmaster. There he is, right over the shoulder there. And he. Really, really is such a dedicated player. He expects his team to have the same attitude. Never say die. Let's see whether Ekholm can follow it through. Four, five. Oh, great return from Young. Yeah, that was a lovely forehand that Ekholm played then. She leaned in, but Young, she was there in position, played that lovely one down the line. Missed it, set it up nicely, exactly as she'd planned from the service, but couldn't deliver down the middle. Oh, 
Oh, that was unlucky there. Good combination, backhands and forehands. It really is a seesaw match at the moment. And you see Ekholm just top edge the ball. That margin for error takes the ball quickly. Sometimes hits the top of the back. Well, that's uh, very disappointing. Four points in a row for Young. Yeah, no wonder she's got that quizzical look. Come on, what do I do? 8 5. And now 9 5. Yeah, she did a, a float serve there, Yang. Ekholm not quite getting over the ball to play against that service with no spin. That's away for six. We saw Timo Boll chatting to Mays there. He'll play the last match against Samsonov. Well, then put a long serve in there. Just changing things. Keep Young on her toes. Okay, that was a very important point. It's now three game points. Mays is very confident. Plays one into the top corner there with his foot. 10 7. Three game points. This for a two love lead. That's it. It's 11 7. Team Mays getting ever close, closer for a place in the final. 250 games they've won now. Just two behind. Rossi, who can't do anything about it. Yeah, well, she just had more control, ultimately, Jill. Yeah, so she takes the ball that much earlier, so Ekholm is really under pressure. Every ball is important. Come on, come on, have fun. Have fun, he says. I mean, you can have fun, but there's a lot of pressure on at the minute. Expectations are that... Young Ha Yun, but you told us earlier that they uh, they were very tight. What three two in the first time of meeting, first round. So there's still all to play for here. Ekholm, can she make this comeback work? Spin and placement doesn't need power all the time. Okay, one all. Have a look at the clock there. You see it's 11.18 and counting. 11 minutes left in the match, whatever. We get to zero on those clocks. That's when we finish this match. Great shot. Yeah, it's a great one down the line. And he's moving at home round the table. Not let again, getting into any rhythm. That was a lovely one down the line. Yeah, it is variety of attack that's giving Yang Haiyun the senior position here. Well played. Two all. Absolutely excellent. Just as uh, Matilda was looking at coming back to set herself up, she's then stretched back in the same corner. Really tough reach. 2 3. Oh, lucky ball there, just touched the net. Less than 10 minutes left. There's certainly a very partisan crowd here. It's a very select and exclusive band inside the T2 cavern here at the Pinewood Studios, specially invited group. A great privilege to be here watching these super talented players from the international scene. Very exciting. Wow. What happened to that, sir? Well, I think uh, Ekholm thought it was coming long. Uh, it didn't. Uh, was that two bounce serve, the half long serve? Always difficult to, to
to make contact with sometimes. It's really a question of uh, errors at the moment. The error count on Ekholm's side is just a little bit too many. That's why she's two love down. And another one there, but it's, those errors are being forced, actually, by uh, a very, very impressive consistency of play by ha Yun. She's got a 6-4 in the third. Okay. There's a change of tactic there by Ekholm, pushed it long. Ekholm. No, she's got to try and get in. And she did try it there, but made the error. You've still got to go for the medium sometimes when things aren't going right. Five, that is the problem, seven. isn't it? There's a disappointed face. Oh, oh. That's, uh, Please, sir. as impressive as a scream. Five, seven. Okay. Well, she's not out of it yet. Then she's got Five, to remind herself. Eight. There's no... I mean, she, obviously, she's got to play it as if it's 0-0. Zero, zero. She can't be looking at the scoreboard. Try to play in control and relax a little bit. There's okay, that was an Nine. edge. That was an edge. She apologises, but wow. Well, to make edges, you've got to be right, right on the button. 9-5. This is a great start for Team Mays. Yeah. She looks a little bit resigned and resolved to the situation. There's five game points here for a three love lead. That's in the corner. Beautifully done. 11 points to five. And Yang is making Michael Mays give us a big, big smile here. Yang Ha Yun has taken a three love lead. Very, very important. And he'll be confident now. They didn't have a place in the final. Good. Come on. He's not having to say much, is he? I mean, quite honestly, she's doing the job. That's right. Well, Walking. she's 3 0 up, yeah. playing really well. No. As a captain, all you want to do is say, well, carry on doing what you're doing. We haven't seen much no. of Jan Jialiang, JJ, simply because Matilda is not on the board yet. One Fortune there. Yeah, much better reaction there, particularly those that came to her to the body. Yes, that's right. She's good combination backhand, forehand. What a power and spin with that comb. Have a look at the clock, five minutes, 30 odd seconds. So chance for maybe one game plus a kill zone game, we'll see. Ekholm has made a really good start to this fourth game, one four. To speed there, Jill. Yes, yeah, put, put that fast serve in. Just keeping Echo on the toes. It's always good to change the pace of service. Put that long one in fast when your opponent's least expecting it. Okay, well, we didn't actually have too much of a long rally there, but. Uh, effort and certainly Ekholm under pressure kept the ball in play and that's the most important thing in those situations keep the ball on the table well done good footwork oh yo yo and Yang played that one into the body 
Good placement there, always difficult when the ball goes there because you've got to make that decision to play a backhand or a forehand. Yeah, good. Needs to keep the pressure on. She did well there. That was an important point. 3-6. Ha Yun, just a tiny bit of pressure here in the fourth. That's better. Well done. 3-7. Seven. Seven. Seven, seven, three. The justice must be so annoying for Matilda because she knows she can be competitive. It's got to be more consistent. Not make those mistakes. Okay, she's been warned for a timing here. Got to keep it flowing. 15 seconds between points allowed. Placement there by Yang, right into the middle. At home, not really getting her feet round there to play a strong forehand. Got to try and move a little bit quicker if possible. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> well, that is uh, a good break there because she could have easily just fallen back a little bit off the pace. But this is uh, a really solid start. JJ will be really, really needing this game. She can get this one quickly and get into the killer, the kill zone, I should say. That is an interesting one now because less than two minutes on the clock and this game finishes. They play what is called a kill zone game and it'll be the first to reach five points. So good opportunity here and there's still a chance for JJ's team to come back with two. There's a 10-4. Just un over two minutes at the moment. This will be a really big fight back. Echo, we've seen it before. This is that one, but still plenty of points in the bank. 10-5. Coming up two minutes, five, look four. We're almost getting into the kill zone. Now we are, definitely. If she finishes off here, it will be a final game to five. Okay, well, she's not won it yet. <laughs> the fat lady hasn't even cleared her throat. <laughs> Six ten. Game points. Oh, and then off the table, off the. Off the tape and then off the table. 7 10. Even if there's just two seconds left Time on the clock. Oh, Five right, okay, minutes. the timeout has been called. I've got a feeling this is now JJ yeah. calling it. Try the long ball. Yeah, Don't let's listen to what he's got so to say. Much. Just think about this if it's, you see it. Okay. Yeah. Because it, I'm saying it was three points now. Yeah. Five. Try no control anymore now. Yeah. Now a little bit good. Uh, timing, good timing, time out, oh, good timing. Chan Jiliang, of course, oh. winner of the world singles title in uh, 1985 and 1987. He was in the team gold team, China, 83, 85 and 87. And uh, an extraordinary player in his day. This is still game point to Echo. And she's missed that one, so still. One, 15 on the clock. Wow, it's getting tight. Ekon needs to get across the line in as short a period as she can here. Pick up one game, it's so vital. Shakes the head, but she's got, at least she's got the service here at 10-8. Clock will start again now. She's missed it, it's nine. Oh dear. This is one annoyed lady, let me tell you. It was 10-4, wasn't it? Well, it certainly was, yes. 10-4 over and out. You won't remember that, but I certainly do from the American movies. She's got it, it's 10 all. it's still one, one point required. There's no juice in this. We go straight to 11, but that is an extraordinary turnaround. Wow, Ekon was so be, will be so disappointed. JJ will be unbelievably upset. 10-0. It's all on this one. 35 seconds left. 
She's done it. Well done, 11-10. Oh, dear. She still will be upset. That she allowed her opponent to come so close, so tight. But at least that is one game, one point on the table for Matilda and also for Team JJ. The extraordinary Just thing is now, yeah. the extraordinary Just thing is with this uh, kill zone to, do, to, do it, to come, she can drag it back to 3-2, just like it was in the okay. first. Yes, she can, she serve, can. I'm sure Matilda, a little bit cross okay. with herself yeah. there. Probably got a bit tentative being that far up. But she managed to pull it off. Let's see what will happen now in the kill zone. OK, we now cancel all reference to time. Obviously, they've still got to keep the pace going from the service. We've seen some issues from that over the T2. Uh, time, but um, here we go. First to reach five points. First blood to Young. Gee, it would be a fantastic achievement if she could come back to 3-2. Good defence from Hart. Young. Oh, and that's turning defence into attack. And Ekholm just could not match it in defence. Mays immediately springs to his feet with two arms raised. It's two love. Oh, what a shot. It's all or nothing now for Matilda. Yeah, that was very brave. Surf went long, but she stepped in and played that forehand winner on the diagonal. Great angle. Oh, unlucky wow. there. She fired another one from the body. It's not going to happen the same. There's going to be a different uh, challenge with the serve. Oh, and there you go. 3-1. So annoying for Echo. Good work though. Ha Yun is right on this. She's very, very focused. One three. Two points required. And now just one required. And ha, uh, Yang Ha Yun is making uh, Team Mays very, very comfortable here. She wins 4 1. Then already they're level with Rossi. Uh -huh. Two, four. Never say die attitude is an important one. And just hanging in here under pressure, but forcing the error ultimately. But it's still two game and match points to Young Hyun. Oh, -ho. four, three. That's that long serve again. <laughs> uh, you've been here, done this. You've been, you've actually done this so many times, haven't you? And you know, getting that final point is the hardest oh, thing in the world. It, uh, it certainly is, and I what, think you know when you, you know you've got to serve serve tighter, you make, no problem. and then you if get a little bit long, nervous, short, whatever. and it goes Only too thing, long. Concentration, hundred percent. What you do, you do, hundred percent. Come on, come on. He doesn't uh, say a great deal. What you do, you do. So obviously he's relying on her ingenuity here but at 4-3 she's still got game and match point big one here for Ekholm can she level it no she can't Young and Mays celebrate a great victory four games to one and JJ will be hugely disappointed he was hoping for some kind of uh, result here but that is a big, big result for Team Mays and for Yang Hayun. Great work. So, disappointment there for sure for the Swedish girl, Matilda Ekholm. Look at the smile, the broad smile there. And the big celebration to the team because the team will love that. 4-1, it means that Mays is on his way to the final round next month. Timo Bols, big smiles as well in the background. Shibir for well, just a little bit earlier. Let's have a look at the highlights here. But basically, 
It was a sad tale of errors from Matilda Ekholm. It was uh, obviously ultimate celebration, although a little bit squeaky at the end. But uh, certainly, Yang Ha Yun deserves a victory. And at 4-1, it was a big one in the context of the competition. So Mays now has uh, Uh, two, four, eight, two. I was just looking at the scores. Jill has helped me right here. She's equal with um, Team Rossi at two, five, two. JJ is at two, three, eight. After starting at two, three, seven. So let's have a look at the stats here. Matilda smiles on the screen there, but I tell you what, it's Yang Ha Yun that is the victorious one there. 58 over 42, 58 over 42. And that is now back to Yang Ha Yun. Yang Ha Yun gives four valuable points for her team, Team Mace. Remember, Team Mace only needs five points to move up to second, only one point away from doing so, thanks to Yang Ha Yun. What do you think of your performance today? Uh, today, very uh, important match. So, I win my team four points. I'm very happy. Of course, and we noticed uh, your hands are clean today. You didn't write anything. Why is that? Yesterday you brought your formula, but today you don't need to write it down anymore? You remember? Yes, yeah. I had. <laughs> Everything is in the head, and it worked out for her. Yang Haiyun for Team Mays. Very well done. Please give your fans some love, the posters. Give it to them. Okay, so now Team JJ has to bounce back and bounce back really strongly because next, two former Taiwanese partners goes head to head. Uh, go anywhere. Welcome back to T2 APAC. It's now Chuang Chi Yuan versus Chen Qian An. Qi Yuan is fourth in the league standings and Qian An sixth, but they're separated by only two points. What's interesting is that both of them as partners are actually Taiwan's very first world table tennis champion. So in this fight to the death, who will emerge victorious? Let's find out right now. Let's allow Qian An to pick a color. Red for Qian An. It's black, so Chuang Chi Yuan to serve. Good luck. Tuni Hao Yun. Well, this is going to be a huge showdown. You'd normally expect compatriots like these two Taiwanese players, the Chinese Taipei players, Chen Qianan and Chuang Chi Yuan. 
to have a little bit of charity, but I tell you what, there's going to be blood on the table here because Chang Chi Yuan on the left. Uh, Chen Chien is on the right, that's right, Chuang is uh, in fourth place overall in the battle for the big money. Chuang has got uh, 44 games won, Chen Chinan has got 42 games won, and uh, you know that is a big, big deal. Chuang is in picture right at the moment with the uh, blue top. He has been as high as uh, number three in the world ranking, so that in itself is a fantastic uh, achievement. But the uh, boy from Kaohsiung will certainly be looking at uh, continuing his good fortune. And I tell you what, the guy that's out of the picture but uh, played yesterday, Samsonov, Vladimir Samsonov, will be very interested to see what result they get here. There's Chen, Chen Chianan. Uh, well, they 42 games, I've already told you that. Uh, he's got a ranking of six. And in fact, Chen Chianan is playing for the Maze team that are really, really going for it. Here's uh, Winnie. Hi. We had Amir with Winnie last night. She's obviously well certified umpire from Club Singapore. Goes on the ITTF tour on many occasions. So no. we're in good hands oh. here. Chuang will start. What do you reckon here, Jill? Is this going to be a big, big battle or are we going to see giveaway stuff? No, I think these two know each other really well. Obviously play no. together in doubles no. and very successfully too. But they did play in round one in the singles here. Um, and uh, Chuang won 3-2. Oh. It's going to be tight, definitely. Chenan, who uh, actually beat Ball Drinkle, one of the other participants in the T2 competition for the World Junior Table Tennis Championship. Wow. That was back in 2008. So a while ago now, nine years ago, but uh, it just showed the quality he had at a very early age. Oh, oh yo, yo. <laughs> Yeah, and obviously in 2017 at the World Championships in Dusseldorf, he was a silver medalist, so um, you know, a great player. Ten years younger than Chuan. Yeah, that's a big point too, isn't it? At his, especially when you're talking 28 to 38. Actually, 26 to 36, I beg your pardon. It's a great match. It's fast, it's furious, and it delights the crowd here, I can tell you. 5-1, great start. When you have big money at stake like this, these players will be certainly well motivated, not just playing for their teams. Yeah, he's got too much pressure on. Hunting down through the body. Yes, very athletic, Chen. He's running around with his forehand on his backhand side. Both these players looking to get in with strong forehands and backhands. Trying to be positive and dictate the game. Oh, he off his table. Yep, 6-4. I was just about to say, we're not going to get too many long rallies. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't open my mouth at that moment. <laughs> Good man. That was really, really interesting. 6-4. Oh, he took the edge. It's five. Nice play, Chuang. He's fighting hard here. He knows the import of this. JJ standing behind him and expecting him to really, really push hard. That's a good one for 7-5. Five, 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 seven. Seven. He's got his fans in his hand there, as we've seen many times before. But uh, he must be fearing the worst here. Watching his opportunities to get to the final drifting away. Let's five seven. As I said, Vladimir Samsonov will be really pleased five, with this situation eight. at the moment. He doesn't want Chuang Chi Yuan to win any more games. They're tied on games at the moment at 44 each. Oh, that was a eight, good six. service there following by Chuan. Got to make every opportunity. Whenever possible. Oh, you beauty. Great work. There was a, a leap like a salmon there from Chen Chianan, but immediately a stone wall Chuang Yuan gets it back.
Great work. Eight, seven. Oh. Gee, when you get into the power game, you get into the rhythm, and then you get that funny little drop. Take the place off, and then the upset. Amazing. Seven, nine. Okay, here we go. It's uh, seven, ten. Game points here. Chen Chinan. That is it. It's 11 points to seven. A really interesting matchup. Chen Chinan now moves up to 43 games one and really is knocking on the door there. He could replace Chen Chi Yuan. Uh, we're talking at 43, plays 44 at the moment. Let's hear what Michael's got to say. Come on. Second game. Come on, that's all we heard. <laughs> Even I could do that, Joe. Love all. Right, it's all very quick into the next game. Chinan, the lefty. In the lead. One, love. Yeah, good serve there. Follow on. Every player's got to make use, good use of the service, and follow in when possible. One, that was a fabulous oh. cover-up backhand there from Trump. Into the body, but just look at. Well, okay, that was the uh, obviously the, the last error. One, two. Slightly long there, so Chun stepped in. Made that winner. It's so quick. The Ha Yun Matilda game was fascinating, but the speed of this is extraordinary. Look at that power as well. Yeah. There's certainly no charity here. This is for real. <laughs> Puff out the cheeks from Chuang and understand the frustration. Uh oh. Yep, they are allowed a quick uh, towel down, although it's still 15 seconds between the points allowed. It's all dramatic, frenetic stuff here in T2. That's off the net in a way, that's five. Two, five. I don't know why he's got the quizzical look. He must be very happy with the situation at the moment at 6-2. Yeah, uh, Joanne's doing everything he needs to do, but there's just some... Errors that are creeping in now. Listen to the crowd. <laughs> the oohs and the ahs of those counter-punching. Really big, big hits. Look at this. They are like gladiators in the center of this T-Toon cavern. Let six three. You couldn't hit the net any harder and still go over. That's for sure. Six three. Oh, nearly good. It is dramatic stuff. We've got a drummer in the background as well. I'll tell you, it's uh, the atmosphere is really heavy. Oh, gee. Stepped in well there, Chan. That's a great forehand. Okay. Seven. Five. Split second reflex, it's so impressive to see. And there's so many options open to Seven, all five. the players at the table. Choosing the right one to put pressure on is always the challenge. Oh, yeah. Seven, six. Okay. Joanne put his hand up there. It's happening so quickly, sometimes we miss it when it touches the net or the edge. We've leveled up at seven all, and uh, again, JJ in the background, just encouraging. I think he's more comfortable with the, uh, the male players. There he is, looking up at the sc big screen as well. That, uh, one of uh, the Chinese royal couple almost married uh, one of the great actress stars in China. The posh and becks of China, you might say. Great hero is JJ. And the heroine that he married as well. And she spends a bit of his time in um, Kobe, in Japan. I think he does. He's decided he's going to spend three months of the year there. He really likes the... Uh,
the countryside, he said. I love the nature in Japan as well. Well, we ought to concentrate right here. It's nine all, second uh, game. But this is a really good battle. Chen Chenan always looking as if he's got the ability to take it, but then Chuang, the street fighter, is there absolutely contradicting. And there's a beauty. It's 10 9. Chuang has got an opportunity to level it up at one all. Really, really impressive. Oi! Oh, that's unbelievable. 11 9. That was a really, really great rear guard reaction. Fantastic. Just shows how strong he is in the mind. Well done. Let's listen to what he's got to say. Well, that means on the individual front, it means that Chuang now has gone up to 45 games. So that is uh, Samsonov is now obviously just one behind them in fifth place. But Chen Chenan is still looking very much in this. So, he's put a statement out here. He's got a chance to get into the, the final four yeah. round. Final four next month. One all, one all. That's a fair reflection. Stop fair this. reflection of the, uh, of the match so far. Now, was that a fly? It was a fly, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Let's one all. Oy, just took the edge. Wow. Extraordinary. Just heard that little click at the end there, Chen. Be a little bit uh, fortunate with that. Oy. Good wow. serve there. And a variation. Two, three. They're so aggressive, there's going to be errors. Can't avoid it. Timo looking up at the uh, scoreboard as well. Into the body. Yeah, good, good placement target. there. Played that back to his backhand, and he, as you can see on the slow motion there, didn't quite get his feet round there to play his forehand. It's good a placement for yeah. Joe, isn't it? Oh yes, well played, Trump. He was pushed all around the court, but he still got there. Look at this. Great power. Wonderful power. And that very dramatic with that black back. Black backdrop. Some great pictures here. Oh, ho, ho, you beauty. Just when Chuang thought he was on his way back. Mr. Maze is amazed as we are. Great shot. <laughs> okay. Three, six. You get the impression Chuang is under pressure all the time. He's got to be absolutely at his best. Oh, well played. Six. Yeah, both these players got very fast feet. They like to play their forehands. Around the table. You know, over the years, Joe, I've commentated on many, many events, ITTF events particularly, where you know, towards the end of the rounds or the end of the competition, it's one country versus one country, and it gets a little bit not boring, that's the wrong word, but it, it can be dull. But we had Germany versus Germany a couple of days ago, remember? That one, Timo Bolin off to off. Unbelievable quality. This is the same, isn't it? It's, it's intense. It's really, really high quality table tennis. And I have to say, really fascinating to watch because there's so much at stake. That's exactly right. We, uh, we've, um, we've been privileged to see some fantastic table tennis here in the T2 cabin in the last few days and in previous rounds. And uh, they're not disappointing us today either. Okay, seven all. 
Chuang is really fighting for his life and he's fighting for a big payday purse as well next month. He's in fourth place at the moment. Oh, he went for broke with the uh, counter, but it means that Chuang has taken the lead now. You cannot deny that that attempt to uh, counter the punch with a really heavy forehand was uh, exciting, but there the backhand is away, and it's 9-7. Chuang has got the uh, service as well as the two-point lead. Jill. What a fantastic oh. backhand. That, that was fast and furious. Counter top spin. And he's have to punch that with his backhand. Extraordinary. Intensity. And again. And he's missed the backhand. Slight power off it, but 8-10 uh, is now game point. Once again, Chuang has come through. He started the early part of this game. Just suffering a little bit, but just look at him now. 8-10. Really very, very tense moments in this match. And now 9-10. Chen Chinan. Expecting to take it to 10 all here. Can he do it? No, he can't. It's at a wonderful inside-out forehand from Chuang. Chi Ran, he's made it now 2 1, and JJ will be delighted with that performance. Okay, it means he's uh, level with Timo Bowl now at 46 games won, although Timo will come later on to play against uh, Vladimir Samsonov. And this is really, really important match for Chen Chinan. In fact, he needs another couple of games here to even stand a chance. Okay. That was a vital big, big point. I'm sure Samsonov will be happy to see that, but he now requires two. Chuang is a lively character. He looks like a street fighter, doesn't he? He's just got that pugilistic feel about him. He's just got something that is, wow, you wouldn't want to meet him on a dark night. And he's a big fighter, and look at that, two all. Chuang is going all the way out here for the jugular. Yeah, both points there going on service. Service is so important. Let's see what he can do, third ball. Okay. Served it a little bit longer, which is okay, because Chuan put a slow spin in, but he was in. There's that forehand off the bounce. Oh, there's Three. a miss. We are less than eight minutes left. Time for two more games. Maybe finishing this one and coming in for perhaps Three, the kill zone four. game. Short game to five. Nice. Three, four. Again, they know each other's game so well, so there is anticipation, but it gives us something fantastic to watch. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Looking at the back there, I think, wondering. Pimples in on both sides there. Yeah, both play with reverse rubber, black and red. Four, and another error five. is being forced. Because he's having to be so aggressive, it's high-risk stuff. Flick doesn't work. Boy, no, obviously. Again, it's all about foot placement and getting into position. Just got a bit anxious there. Five all. Six. Good five. service. Yeah, backspin on that ball. And didn't quite get underneath it. Can you see that ball? Oh, yo. It's like lightning across the table. Unbelievable. Even in slow-mo, we're struggling. 
fabulous Five, entertainment. Seven. Five, seven. Chen needs really something special here. Not doing it. Samsonov will definitely be worried about this scenario. Oh, and there you go, nine. Wow. Still lots of time left to pick up another game. Oi. Too many errors, Jill. Yeah, but. Uh Credit to Chuan, he's played very aggressive. Six, ten. Had his game plan. He's been aggressive, got him with his forehand, backhand. Chuan, Chuan made some errors. Game points here though. Oh, absolutely stunning. Watched it, anticipated it, and absolutely executed it brilliantly. Watch this backhand. Fantastic block. Chuan committed himself to play his forearm from the backhand. Oh, hello. 10-8. Well, three in a row there. Saving three game points. Chuan was one love down. He's got a chance to take a 3-1 lead here. And he's done it, 11-8, and JJ will be really happy. He was depressed after the first game, but at 3-1, with one at least one to come, he'll be very happy with that. 9-9 nine, nine and 8, they were tight battles. He doesn't have to worry a great deal, to be quite honest, in the overall battle, because he's already gone... Uh, into a position where he can qualify already with his team for the final round in second place. What? No. It's not a kill zone game, this is just the first. You can see the, the clock there at four minutes. We will, we will finish when it goes down to zero, but whatever the score is there, whoever's leading gets the game. Oh, 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 he's on fire. Oh, lovely backhand there. Are they going to take a timeout? I'm not surprised. Three love. Goodness. Yeah, try to play a little bit more aggressive with backhand on the first one. I mean, when you make this flip, you can make a little bit, not only give him the chance, then he is playing too aggressive after. Well, I hope you can join us for the T2 on, Grand Finals, 7th, 8th and 9th of December, here at the Pinewood Studios. Love it's uh, Iskander in Malaysia, southwest of Malaysia. It's a fantastic venue, well set out for exclusive Best. entertainment Love for three. specially invited guests and, of course, specially made for TV. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. It's uh, a fantastic one. new concept, the T2 Asia Pacific League. Well, he went for broke there, lent away, and just kept, took his eye off it. He bounced a little bit higher, forcing the error. 4 1. Huang is in great form here. If he picks up four, that will be a huge statement. One, five. We give him 48 to all together, and it means that Samsonov is then under enormous pressure because he's playing Timo Bowles uh, in the hunt as well. 1 5. Let's. 1 5. Too good. Too good. He's just absolutely oh, running, running him ragged, Jill. Yes, he's playing him all round the table. Forehand, backhand. Fantastic. Fantastic. And it's off the table from the net, and it's 7-1. And at two minutes left, there's no way that uh, Chin... Chen Chianan is coming back from here. Chuang has absolutely 
taken the, the match by the throat. Gone a little bit there, but he's got so many points in the bag here. Okay. A minute and 43 seconds to uh, make up four points. No, he's missed that one too. It's 8-3. It's not going to happen. It's no wonder he's disappointed. He had a chance to get into the big money top four. That's not going to happen. Chuang. Looks like he's done it with this particular performance. Wow. It's four. Yeah, the ball popped up there. He played it. I thought that should have been a winner, but uh, he finished it off with the next one down the line. The interesting thing is, you look the, on the left, the blue numbers there. Chuang could certainly it's level things five. up for JJ, make it five all in the match overall with four matches to come. If he'd won that point and pushed it through, we could have even got a kill zone game. But uh, that's not going to happen now, I don't think. We'll see. 44 seconds. You never know. It's nine. Two more required. 30 seconds. I'm sure he's aware of that. He can push through. He might even get six times. When is it going down the line? When is it going down the line? Oh, uh -huh, it doesn't need to. 11 seconds, 10 seconds left. Not enough time, surely. One more service. The, the whistle's going to go any minute now. The buzzer is going. There it is. It's 10 6. And there, Tran has taken the, the fourth. And that's actually the fifth game, made it 4 1 altogether. And that uh, means that uh, JJ will be really happy about that. He's gone up to 2.42, if I'm not mistaken now, with his games. But um, Mays picks up one for 2.53. JJ smiling. He's got a, still got a chance here in this. But the most important thing is that Samsonov, who's at 44 games at the moment, playing later, uh, will see Chuang disappear at 48 altogether and overtakes Timo Ball with 46. So, a chance for the big money finals next month. Chuang certainly deserves it with that performance. Absolutely brilliant. We've got the highlights package here at the minute, but Chen started out so well. He took the first game, and then he was totally dominated by an inspired performance by Chuang. Absolutely excellent. Chi Yuan was everywhere, and he just executed his ambitions beautifully. Look at that. What a lean and a... Fabulous shot into the corner. We've got a lot of action back from the table. The aggression was superb. Absolutely magnificent. Too many errors ultimately for Chen Chinan. But the battle of the Chinese Taipei players has, oh, has culminated in a great performance. Chuang Chiran has won it by four games to one. And Team JJ celebrate that victory. Chuang Chi Yuan, oh my goodness, he now moves up to second spot in the men's championship while also keeping Team JJ's hopes alive, eliminating Chen Qian An from the top four race. But Team Mays is now second, so Team Rossi is out of the championship race. So much to think about, but let's get uh, his uh, thoughts on how he performed just now. 这四分呢，其实你觉得是足够还是不足够，让你踏入决赛？ 呃，我也不知道，没去算嘞，但应该应该还好吧。对，可能看，因为后面还有那个，就是对其他选手的比赛嘛，所以还是不知道。对我刚打完没去算。对， so Vladimir Samsonov and Timo Ball's fate are now in their hands because now that Shi Yuan has moved up to second, we really have to see what will happen next, and that will determine the table standing. So that's it from these two former partners, but more table tennis action coming your way after this break.
Welcome back, and we're back to square between Team JJ and Team Mace as John Jihee and Hina Hayata takes center stage. Without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. Jihee, please pick a color. Red color for Jihee. Red indeed, John Jihee to serve. Good luck. So the big battle is now moving forward with uh, Korea's John Jihee against... Uh, the Japanese youngster, Hina Hayada. An interesting thing, Hayada on the left of screen here. There's, uh, on the right, a big one, the two lefties, of course. Uh, Hayata, 17 years old, she looks a lot older than that, for sure. Is, uh, let's have a concentrate on Jihee there for a minute. The highest rank of 11, and uh, she's ranked at 15 at the moment. But there you can see games won. 30 games overall so as far as the women are concerned she's a little bit out of the picture it's the top four we're looking for so she's uh, down at the bottom of the uh, situation and Hiata, meanwhile is up to six she's got 38 and again she will not come back for the finals but she's representing team Mays and will certainly be playing in the finals we've just heard that uh, they, team Mays have overtaken team Rossi so that is a guaranteed place in the finals at the moment, unless JJ does something unbelievably in the, the rest of these matches. Got an fa interesting fact here that uh, Hayata actually plays left-handed, but is, uh, oh, there's Li Yaoguang, Malaysia umpire, good to see him. Um, plays left-handed on the table, but uh, Actually, in normal life, Jill, she, a dominant hand is a right hand. Now, that has got to be strange, huh? Oh, that's very unusual. Very unusual indeed. John Jihi. A very talented young lady. Indeed. Originally from China. Born in Hebei province. John He and Jihi, formerly known as Chan Wei Min, when she moved to Korea. to uh, a very, very high standard in Korea now. One off. One, two. It's that one. Three, one. So, how do you see this one going, Joe? Is this, uh, have they played before? I don't know whether we, they did in the early rounds. Yes, they played in uh, round one, and Hayata won 4-0. Uh, Ooh. Four, one. Wow. Both players playing very fast, attacking on both wings. So I'm sure we're in for a treat of some fast and furious rallies. <laughs> a lot of variation of Hayata's serve. And a different spin direction. And she always when possible, follows that in if it's there to play a good forehand or backhand. Five, oh, well played. John is uh, attacking well. Three. Certainly feel the revenge in the air. She wants to get her own back. Three, seven. Oh, lovely backhand there. She's got a variety of serves, Hayata. Spends hours and hours in the training hall. Seven. Buckets and buckets of ball, perfecting. 
He's using deception on the serve to change the spin. Her opponent sometimes thinks it's the same service, but she's actually made contact different parts of the bat. Stepped in well there, Yon. Strong forehand. Twenty minutes left in this match, and uh, a miss there for six eight. Mariata, never optimistic here to come, pull back in this game. She's done it, it's eight level up at eight all. She is a fighter. Oh, it's lovely play there. Now served well, followed in. Real aggressive play. She's got an extraordinary power for such a youthful girl. Yeah, timing is, is superb. Takes the ball really early. Uh, <laughs> talking of early. <laughs> John did exactly that there. She needed it. Nine eight. Played into a backhand, but she was in there. Very wristy action, wrist and elbow Nine. to impart oh. that power and spin. Oh, a lovely side spin Nine. serve there. Nine. Follow up. Positive play there from Hayata. Okay. Oh, and Jun now come back to 10 all. Let's see what she can do with her serves. She'll be looking to follow in if possible. Game point. It's a yeah, that is a really, really impressive first one, John. Comes up with a flashing forehand down the line. And I tell you what, JJ will be really, really happy with this first one. Excellent play. Right, well, Aina has got the serve in the second. John has started really well. Started very nicely here, but this is now pullback time for Gion. Keeps the concentration. That's a beauty. Absolutely excellent for one two. Look at the feet, they really do form the big base one, to keep uh, a really, really solid attack. And another one across table into the diagonal for two all. Oh, that's clever. Well, how undercut was that? My goodness. Yeah, a lot of spin there. Good angle. Hayata not quite getting the feet in position. Three points in a row. Two, three. 
And another one for 4 2. With their forehands, whenever possible, and that was a beauty. <laughs> May I to try and out that side spin push there, but Dion picked that up really well, had no problem with it. With that forehand, just kept her eye on the ball well enough to control it and dish Seven, it back into space. Four. No chance there for John. 7-4, though. Ha! Yeah, good reach. A heavy spin there from Mihata. John not quite getting over the ball. 14 minutes left, so we've completed 10. Five, we haven't even done uh, two games yet. These, uh, there's going to be a problem even reaching four games in this matchup. 5 7. <laughs> the long serve works. Variation. She's such a good service. Player Hayata got a variety of different serves and spins. This is back at now seven all, and this is a really, really good fight back here, trying to thwart the ambitions of JJ's team. Seven all. There he is, looking a little concerned. Just about to say who's going to break first because that was a really tight battle. Seven all. This is really, really important. A bit of poker going on here at the tables. And the winner of that bid was John, 8 7. And another one for 7 9, or was it touched? Oh, Hayata so she it, thought it touched, yeah. but yeah. John said no. There, there is the honesty box here, isn't there? You've got to in that. Uh, in this situation, normally table tennis players, they see an issue, they will raise their hands and voluntarily say, okay, it was good. No love lost here, that's for sure. They really are up for it. Eight, uh, eight nine. That's really good from John. Kept up that really consistent backhand. Very impressive. And again, JJ encouraging from the baseline. Game point for the two love lead. She's got it. 11 8. And Gian Jihi has now come and taken two for JJ. That's 2.44 now he has in uh, games one. Hayata, who won four love the last time out, will be really disappointed with this. 11-10, 11-8, John G. He in the lead. John 
John G. He will serve. Third game. Wow. First point. Look. Less than 12 minutes left. Perhaps time for another two games here. Yeah. Nice and side spin there, Jill. Yeah, a lot of side spin and back spin there. She's got that good angle. Oh, good luck. Oh. Lovely little lob. Still chewing and certainly concentrating on the job in hand for sure. Love it. Yeah, lovely backhand to backhand rally there. Very quick off the mount. These players know they've got to get in and attack. Oh, she did well there, recovering. Had to really leap towards the net to recover. And then very, very quickly there, come with the forehand and put the pressure on, forcing the error. 2-3. Oh, 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 you beauty. Wow, great target. Three all. Yeah, I don't think um, Hayata executed a, a good forehand oh. flick there. It was a bit half pace. Easy for Gion to come in with that winner. Three all now. Let's see what serves Hayata can do. Yes, and she threw that ball up high on that service and followed that in with a, a slow, spinny one, just changing the pace. Interesting story with Hayata. I've already told you that she's uh, she plays left-handed, but dominant right hand in everything else that she does. Writing is in right hand. Her parents weren't involved in table tennis, but her grandmother introduced her. So we grandparents of the world, we know exactly how important we are, don't we? We certainly do. <laughs> what would they do without us? Exactly. Four or five. I think we're there to spoil them. Well, they're not wrong there either, are they? 6 4 Hayata has found a little space here on the third game. Oh, -ho! and now at seven. There's a great backhand down the line. Just changing direction last minute. Well, that's a good response. Receiving the serve is obviously a big, big task. You don't know where it's coming from or going to at that time, but uh, that was a really good power. Five, Retrieving, seven. putting pressure on. Bang, there's heavy top. Okay. This is important, 5-8. Reaching a little bit more for that one. Puts it long. 5-8. Oh, yeah. Wow, that was a great play down the line. I think that... Yes, that touched the white line. Always difficult. Hmm. Ayana's face. Ayata's face says it all. And another one away, and that is really putting pressure on now. 8-7. Mays was hoping for a, a good game here and going to have a timeout. Okay. Well, you can understand that. We'll hear what he's got to say. Try make service to forehand. Receive the short forehand. This is good. Come on, just play. Have fun. It's good when you can change your back a little bit to middle. Not only back and back end, but you can change sometimes. This is good. Come on. Come on, it was a tactical time out there, you can tell. She just wanted to break up the momentum of the recovery of John. And, of course, uh, there we have the T2 Grand Finals, 7th, 8th and 9th of December. I hope you can join us for that. Got some big, big matches in prospect.
It's Team Pearson and Team Mays who will be uh, the favourites to be competing in the team events. It's all to play for on the individual <laughs> events at the moment, men and women. And that is a really good timeout called by Mays. 9-7 and immediately gets the point right after that time. But he's, he's very cool. He says, enjoy yourself. I love it. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> Suggesting you only have fun if you win, of course. But 8-9 uh, at the moment. This is really tight. John will be serving. 8-9. Oh, that's a good service. Nine. And nine all, really good recovery by John Jihi. Nine all. Well, JJ desperately needs this one as well. Every, every game, so important. But nine all, Hayata has the service. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, another excellent serve. Yeah, good serve there. Side spin on that, going round the ball. Okay, she has got a game point here. She had one in the first and missed it. That's gone, it's 10 all. Oh, oh. No, that can't be, can't be 11, sorry, it can't be 11. It's got to be 10 all. 10 all. Thank you. No deal. Right, this is the big shootout. Gion can make it three love. And she has made it three love. It's 11 points to 10. And JJ will be really happy with the other JJ. Gion, excellent work. They'll be talking Mandarin here. And I tell you what, they'll be very positive about that. Hayata had the chance, but she's turned round now. Gion has turned round a 4 0 defeat in the first round to a 3-0 advantage at the moment. There's not much time left. 10, 8 and 10. How close is that, Joe? No, oh, it doesn't get much closer than that. I think uh, Ayata, she won that point on a serve, tried it again, but then made that error. I mean, it was the right thing to do, but unfortunately these things happen. Is that the difference between 24 years old, John, and the 17-year-old? Possibly, could be a little bit nerves as well. Mays thought he'd done enough when he uh, called them in. Love. Oh, yo. Okay, we've got some clappers here, and obviously one has just burst. Full capacity crowd here. Yeah. Five minutes left. You know, we could still get another two in if they're very quick. There's another miss. John's got the service now. Big pressure. Needs to get as many games as possible in the bag. And that is a really good service. Yeah, she's playing well now, is John. And she's 3 0 ahead, and she's just going for shots. Oh, yeah. And then we see that there. Very aggressive play. Taking it early. Ayata now needs to relax, try and get back into the game. Let. Let there. Let. Four. Top female player in Korea now, John Ji Hee. Okay, missed that one, so on the board at last, in the fourth. Oh, lovely serve there, played that into the middle and then followed it up, right into the middle, body. Good play there by Hayata. A couple of good serves on both sides of the net. 4-2 though. Keep an eye on the clock. <laughs> nice work. Three points in a row. And John certainly is very famous for her backhand, the quality of her backhand, but missed that one. 
4-3. Stop clock. John, second warning for time delay. 4-3. That's the warning. More than 15 seconds and now at 4 all. Wow. The yellow card. The impact of that, Jill, is... It's a warning and I think if she does it again, they'll uh, give her a red card and take a point. It has happened, believe it or not. These umpires are very strict because of the conditions. Only 24 minutes in total. No delay. That's their ambition. Well, that was a really good edge. Well, it's a good fight back by Hayata. She's three love down, but every game is so important. Oh, what a shot! Great yeah, work. That was a great forehand there. She picked up that well, one well wide on a forehand, and just made that winner on the diagonal. Great footwork there from Gion. Yeah, yeah, too good. Nicely. She had that in mind, you could tell. You could feel that she was looking for the opening down the line beautifully. And she played that banana backhand, which is coming round the ball. Side spin, and then she made that winner with her backhand down the line. Less than two minutes, six all. We may not even get through this fourth game. Whoever's leading at the bell, at the whistle, will take the game. They don't have to get, get all the way to 11. 24 play. minutes is the condition. Stop. Okay. Oh. Every point now counts enormously. Seven all. The partisan crowd calling out support. Oh, again, a brilliant shot for eight, seven, one minute, ten. She's very powerful. I mean, she's got a reputation for the backhand, but she's not afraid to swing with the forehand as well. And another one for nine. We could still now, sorry, Jill, but if we get to 11, we could still have a kill zone game, so we could get five in. Seven, nine. Boy, there's 10, 7, 10, 38 seconds left. Wow, this is a big one for Jay now. John G to JJ, such an important one. And that is on the edge, wow. 20 seconds left, it needs to be quick. Toweling down Ten, after eight, six eight. points. So they They're did stop the clock. The, yeah. yeah, they'd stop the clock, so making the most of that. 10 8. We could still go to a fifth game here if she wins this point. She's got it with a brilliant combination there. Back and four, 11 8. We will go to a kill zone game 4 0 in favor of John G. He and again. Team JJ will be absolutely delighted with that outcome. Look at the smile on his face. Go for it, he says. It's, uh, it's really, really good to see him up and very, very happy with life. He's had a few disappointments throughout the whole competition, so we go into the kill zone, we forget the clock now, and we come forward with John Jihi. Chance to take the fifth game. He's, she's got to reach five points to do it. That is a really, really upbeat. That's a confident shot inside out, isn't it? That certainly is. Served well, followed in. Those. She's got to go for them. Only five points in this game. Oh, yeah, well played, Ayada, keeping her head there. Easy to lose your head in these conditions. One all. One all. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Third ball was a beauty. It was, certainly was. The, and the serve set it up. Two one. Can she salvage anything? She picks up the next three points, and that is now the next two points required. She are just losing concentration a bit, but you can you have to say the 17-year-old Ayata has just been really, really focused. One three. One three. The time is not of paramount importance here. She's missed it. It's 1 4. Oh, and after all the promise and all the real, real celebration, it will be disappointment at the end. And John just shows how disappointed she is. 1 4. Game point to Mays. That's it. 5 1. What a beauty finish for Hayata. And Mays will be celebrating. Managed to pick up a point there, a game there. So, 4-1 ultimately, JJ desperately needed that, but Hayata kept her cool, and you have to say, she did well to win that in the kill zone. A cheap game ultimately, disappointment for John, disappointment for JJ. Well, it has to be said, that it, was, it was all on the, uh, the team there because they're not going to get into the uh, in the individual final rounds next month so it was all resting on performance in the team John Jihi had it there did really well to take the first four games and then ultimately it was a great bit of focus play from Hayata although she lost the first point from then on it was all five in a row for Hayata and very, very well indeed. So, Team Mays are confirming themselves as second place at the moment, although they're now challenging Team Pearson. 2.54, they've got Pearson already finished the series at 2.58. JJ at 2.46, and really no chance. We'll have a look at the uh, the stats here before we'll have a quick chat with John Jihi. There you go, look at that dominance uh, from Jihi in most departments. Let's go and have a quick word now with John Jihi. Disappointed at 4-1, Victor. Team JJ is making a comeback. John Jihi puts them in the lead, but they need 21 points to make it to the final. Let's get her thoughts. So yeah, Jihi did very well. She uh, did well today as she did in the previous fixtures as well. Helping Team JJ, she's trying her very best to send them to the final. Next, another round of men's battle. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back to T2 APAC. We're moving into the fourth match of this very last fixture of regular season. It's Jong Yong Sik versus Alexander Chibaev. Alexander, are you ready? All right, please pick a color. Red for Alexander. It's black, Jong Yong Sik to serve. Good luck. So, Winnie there, the umpire, has tossed the coin. Well, it's not a coin anymore, it's a colored disc, isn't it? But, um, this is going to be a really, really interesting battle because the uh, the Russian player, Shibayev, Alexander Igorevich Shibayev, on the right, has, uh, has got to do a job for Mays. Young, I, I would think, actually, that the his opponent for this one, John, Young Sik will probably be the favourite, to be quite honest, although they haven't played in previous uh, encounters. Jong Young Sik ranked 27 at the moment, but look at where he has been, way up there in the top 10. 25 years old now, and had a great, great uh, match there. 39, they've actually both won 39 games in the tournament so far, so they're well matched on that score. But the interesting fact for me is that uh, Young Sik actually challenged Chuang Chi Yuan. We saw last uh, couple of matches ago, the last time the men came to court, and Chuang Chi Yuan is now in the top four, but uh, it's interesting that uh, Jong Young Sik managed to beat him in the uh, Seamaster Qatar 216 ITTF World Tour Grand Finals just at the end of last year. He beat him in six games, and it was a really impressive performance. There you go, 39 matches, one, uh, games won so far for Shibaya. But he had a little bit of a dusting down last time. Uh, I remember he came to court. There's Winnie, big smile. Hi. Singapore. Job of Team JJ to serve. ITTF official umpire. Love. And, uh, oh. Well, we'll see how we go. Jill, are you looking forward to this? I certainly am. Yes, I'm sure it'll be a, a great game between these two. Both be oh. aggressive. Oh. I'm sure we'll see some exciting rallies. Oh, hey. Great angle, no fuss, brilliant timing. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah, serve then, following by Shabayev. It's interesting, I was looking at the world ranking list and um, Shabayev has gone up 18 places since last month. So from 41 to 23, so that's, he's obviously playing well on the ITTF circuit. They are certainly very well matched here, but they have different styles. Can you uh, give us a, a rundown of your perception on the different way in which European players and Asian players play at this level? Well, you've got, you have different styles. The, the um, Asian players take the ball very early. Shabayev will take it slightly later, but there's a lot of players now in Europe that are adopting the same thing. And trying to play backhand and forehand off the bounce. I think you're also looking at the fact that Shabayev is a little bit happier stepping back from the table, just a little bit with his attacks. Whereas uh, Young will definitely come forward, he'll step forward to the table. Yeah, Shabayev likes to, as you said, John, just take that step back, give himself a little bit more time. He was close to the table there and skied one, but uh, he's under a bit of pressure at 2-5 in this opening game. There's a million ways of playing this game, I tell you, playing this sport. And, uh, obviously, it's result orientated. There's a stimulus response. That's what makes it such great television. It's... Uh, immediate stimulus and you see the response you see the the finish of that there you go lovely good backhand there from Shibir, countering the uh, the service well yeah, russian players past and present they've all adopted to have very strong backhands and shivive has that as well yeah, well, that forehand was missed. He came close, but uh, 
Disappointment there after a great start. Shibayev has pulled him back to level up. Oh, lovely. <laughs> a lot of cuts on that backhand. Shibayev has got the lead. No wonder Team Mays are uh, supporting. Six. Slight error there. I think he thought it was going long, was going to attack it, but. Pushed it last minute and made the error. Six, four. Tempted to smile. There's a huge uh, screen that they can see. And in fact, JJ is Six, looking into the seven. screen at the moment. You see him in top left corner when we see that uh, wide camera shot of junk. Six, seven, Shabayev has got the edge at the moment. Oh yeah, well played, nice. Back from the table with that camera angle, it's very easy to see, love it. It is, and uh, gets great pace on the ball, both players. Seven, all. He has been set very successful with that service. A Shiver, 8 7, the backhand serve, dropping it very close to the net and getting it even wider. Just look at the side spin on that. And just as you've told us before, you, do, you don't play it in the center of the racket or the back. You play it off the edge and get that extra bit of spin. Oh, he's missed it. That is a really, really bad miss there by Jump. And he had it right on the plate. There Seven, you go, nine. open table and missed it. Seven now. Yeah, the ball actually comes rarely off the center of the back. That's good there, good service and punch that backhand on the diagonal. Trying to put Shibayev under pressure. Eight, nine. <laughs> He's looking out of the side of his his eyes just thinking, oh, come on, John, we need it. Yeah, good stuff. Ha <laughs> ha, here we go. It's circus time. Oh, yes, 9 all. We love that. The crowd love it. Absolutely fantastic. 9 all. Tremendous play there. Playing it all around the table. Top spin to top spin rallies. Oh, Winnie's getting very aggressive. Now, I mean, 15 seconds is all that's allowed in between, but Shabayev trying to take his time there. Nine all. Let's nine all. That backhand serve again. He's persisting with it at the moment. Is he going to change? No, nope, still there. Yeah, really good. He did want to take his time because he was going to, yeah, he was determined that he had planned that. That was a great strategy. Yeah, he planned that short to the forehand. And then wherever it was played to him, he was going to try and get in and attack, which he did. He's got another serve. He's got game point, 10-9. JJ will be hoping for a miracle here. Here they go again. Here they go again. <laughs> we love this! Oh! Shibayev, Alexander Shibayev comes up with a real, real fabulous finishing point. Sensational. And just look at that. We don't see Mays jumping to his feet very often like that. Absolutely superb. Well played. Good stuff, eh? That was certainly great table tennis there. Second Maze was Three. obviously happy. Ball for ball, fast eyes. Even if you miss some balls, come on. Yeah, that's really good. We're going to come back to the table at the moment. Not a, not a great turn. Uh, First warning for time delay. Shibaya, second warning for time delay. Shibaya, sir. Look. 
Oh, so oh, second it, warning, yeah. he's got a yellow card now. So it, it could be a point deduction if he carries on with that. They need to move forward very quickly. Let's We've only got 24 minutes in total. That's oh. why this format brings on the pressure. 16 minutes, 38 seconds to go. Every second counts. But I tell you, confidence breeds confidence. And Shibayev is buzzing. We talk about buzzing bees. He's, uh, he's definitely really bothering his opponent with his aggression. I think this is the highest today. The counter, well, the counter was good with the forehand. Tried the same with the backhand, and that's uh, just a, a split too much. Good on Jong for keeping the control there. Wow. It's not easy oh. when it's coming back so high. One all. Let's one all. It's a good matchup, this. Really, really different styles, but we've got very close results every point. Oh. Missed that one. Yeah, that was right by John. It was there to, to flick. Just overhit it. Both oh. these players like to serve short into the forehand. Let's see if Two. Oh. she may have does now. He'll probably do something totally different now. I've said that. <laughs> no, you see, exactly, he does. He's actually not serving backhand. Oh, <laughs> he didn't serve his backhand. He pushed that uh, that forehand service in. Of course, he pushed it long. So quite the opposite to what Jill like, anticipated. You should be out there playing with him. No, and in fact, he's right because he's actually changing it. So what, yeah. That's what he should be doing. Right, well, it's towel down time, it's 4-2, uh, but I have to say Shibaya is keeping his concentration, he's certainly well focused, he's, he's applying pressure with a lot of uh, variety, he wants a game, Winnie asking for a quick service here, 2-4. Replacement there, into the middle of Shibaya. Missed it, man. Uh, uh, two in a row. We've got four all now. Chebert will, will serve. I had the great privilege of going to Orenburg um, for the ETTU oh. team finals. And I was so impressed with the, uh, the junior programs, four the four. training programs. Hundreds of coaches and many hundreds of kids involved. It was just fantastic. Orenburg, the Gazprom oh. Center there. Fantastic. Of course, we've got uh, many of the team's members involved here. John Mitsutani, Vladimir Samsonov. It's uh, really, really good. And of course, Ofcharov as well, who's already gone through to the individual finals here next month. All three of them are playing Four, for Fakul Gazprom in Orenburg. And a really good chance to have a look around the facilities. Fantastic. So the Russian game is very much alive. And kicking, and here we see 7-4-7 seven. Seven, seven, Shibayev. Another of those quality players from Russia. 4-7. Good service there, Jill. Yeah, good service. And that's that... Uh, Came into the forehand. Seven, five. Bit of head shaking going on from JJ. Well, he had a Gion representing him last time, another J. He's got a Jung representing him this time. All the J's. Asking for a timeout. Okay. So he called it, not uh, not Michael.
Easy here, after da da da. Fast eyes. Play good. Every ball. He's a man of little words, that's for sure. Colourful character. Come on. Hi! Jump! What a fantastic. A very interesting career in table tennis. Of course, I mentioned before, he won the European Youth Singles Bronze at the World Championships in Shanghai. He won the European Championship Singles, just like my commentating partner, Jill Parker. Just a few years later, but um, as far as Europe's concerned, Michael Mays was a very, very impressive player. Seven, four. No accident, very colorful. Great player. Well, that's Shibayev. Really, that's a great timeout, wasn't it? Look at the difference. Yes, he was, uh, wanted to compose himself, get himself ready, and he won that next point. Oh, oh, oh you beauty. Yeah. Wow. He played that serve quite a, quite a bit, and Shibayev. Was there ready waiting for it? He was waiting, wasn't he? He hesitated, which gave the, uh, the real fantastic ability to surprise at the end. Okay. He's got the service now, big advantage. Yeah, exactly set up as he wanted. It's 8-10, two game points to Shibayev, but it's that short service on the backhand side that you said before he would take advantage of. Well done. Short to the backhand serve to the forehand. Follow in. Save that one to the end. I told Michael last night, we've got him praying in Danish several times during the matches. And that's it, he's done it, 11-8. And that is the second game, Shabayev, and it means that Team Mays are in really great, great shape here at the moment, going in and challenging from the, for the top. The top spot at the moment with Team Pearson at 2.58. How, uh, how close are we at the minute, Joe? Let's have a look. Between the balls, uh, what have we got? We've got you Mays your at... Um, this is your game. 2.56. 2 yeah. Only two behind with uh, this match and two more to follow. So they must be really happy. JJ, on the other hand, a little despondent. He expected a victory here, and he's not got it. Turkey, job to serve. Love or? Jung Ying Sik will serve this, and he's two love down. Just over ten minutes left in the match. What? Love. Bit, bit loose of the backhand from Shibaya. He's got uh, a lot of time to recover, of course, but uh, he'll be disappointed. And another no. one. Backhand was wide, forehand was wide. No. Good pressure from John. That one just clipped the end of the net. Put his hand up to apologize. a lovely service again from Shibayev and uh, again followed in a little shake of the head he wants to get every single point he can every ma every game he's got a good attitude you can feel it yeah, lovely play there by Shibayev that one down the line and then Three, one on the diagonal good variation of forehand and backhand Oh, that's three in a row for Shibayev. Le levels up at three off. And that was excellent play. Again, a, he did not much of a backlift on that diagonal forehand, but it was uh, very effective. Good power. Three in a row and back with the serve. 
And another good one, Jill. That's, yeah, put that fast one in. Change your pace. Okay. Well read jump. Four up. You can just see so much action on the ball, can't you, with those ultra, ultra cam super slow. Great television. Wow. Wow. Well played, John. We've had some magnificent uh, production, lovely television pictures. The cameramen have done a fantastic Five, job. And, of course, the live editing, superb, really impressive production. Let's fight for... Let's... Was it a lip? Uh-huh. <laughs> Five, four. Oh, well, he blocked it well enough with the backhand. First one, second one didn't happen. So, JJ looking to try and open up a big gap here. Four, six. Yeah. He's got the smile, but uh, he knows that the writing's on the wall here. He's not going to qualify. Uh, finding it really hard to make any headway here. Shipeyev is playing above himself in terms of what you expect. Let's. Same again, backhand short to the forehand. Oh, said it. Seven, yeah, went slight, slightly longer that time. Jun opened up. I have just made the error on the counter top Seven, spin down the line. Five. So, Jung at 7 5. We've just got Seven, a little five. over six minutes left in the match. Eight, okay. Okay, Six, so eight. we're still not out of this third game. No, I think Dion, he knows he's got to try and get Six, some eight. matches under games under his belt for JJ. Let's sit eight. Still going for his strokes. Yeah, we've seen some good table tennis. Tony has some flashing shots right there. Excellent play. Forcing the error. And Shebeyev is just, he's so annoying to his opponent. He's staying in this very tight. 7 8. Oh, went for the big one. That might cost him the game. 9 7. We've got a different drummer Nine, and seven. a different drum. We've got a snare drum, not the big bass drum as we had before. What's your preference, Jill? I Do you like the I'll snare or the bass? I like the bass, I think. The boom boom. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. But it all adds to the atmosphere. It does, it's great. I love it. Eight nine, Shibaya. Again. Oh, 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 wow. Hey, talk about deception. Look at this. Oh, naughty boy. <laughs> Very clever there, nearly aced him. Fantastic. Right. Chance for Jung, chance for JJ. 8-10. Shibev's got the service, but it'll take a miracle for him to get out of this one. He needs three in a row. There's one of them. There's one of them. 9-10. How did I doubt him? Why did I doubt him? Oh. Very clever. Was. Was that can serve into the forehand again, but it was that backhand winner down the line that did it. Still game point Let's to John. Still game point to John. No pressure then. <laughs> oh, he nearly he 
went for it, but it's 11-9 in favor of Jung. And JJ picks up a game. Shibeyev bows his head in disappointment, but I have to say it's, it's a really, really great matchup. Shibeyev has surprised us with the quality of his in his games, but look at JJ still in the lead at 10 8. It's okay. you you overall, although he's leading, no? uh, he's uh, behind by 2 1. Okay, good try. Come on. This wide angle can see the atmosphere, the very, very intense fan pressure here. That's a good start. Just two and a half minutes left. We're going to get, obviously, the result of this game. Without, we'll get any more. Right. So, we look, we'll keep an eye on the clock, and when it goes down to zero, there will be a whistle, and the score at that stage is the one that counts. Oh, you beauty, he is on the run. He didn't have time to get his feet in position, but just look at that, what a shot. Yeah, tremendous backhand One, there. Two. Great power. On the run, it was all upper body there. One, two. Try it. two. Oh. Alexander talking to himself. Giving himself a telling off for missing that one. Two all. 129. Every point vital. It could be two all in games, you know. It could, yes. It could easily be two all after Shibayev started so well. He's got to keep the focus. Two, three. Shibayev needs to get a point or two right now to stay in contention. It'll be all over at around about five, and there's another one. Five or six points. And of course, with less than one minute left. Four, two. So little time to finish off. When he's done her best to keep the, the momentum and the pace of the match, but I tell you, with just 43 seconds left. First warning for time delay. John. Yeah, and there you go. That's exactly as I was suggesting. Next. Four, second two. warning for time delay, Yeah, so the second Four, warning, so they've two. both got yellow cards yeah. now. If one more, and there's a point deduction, which will be disastrous in this environment now. Okay, there's one point in it, 39 seconds left. If Shibayev can draw level, we will then have a shootout. But it's a lot of ifs and a lot of buts. Jong, 4-3. This is a big point. And he's got it, it's 5-3. And that may well be that he can level things up at 2-all and JJ will celebrate that, that's for sure. 5-3, so little time left. He'll go back to the table at 10-9. There you go, it's 6. OK, 3-6, and now that is a done deal. 2-1 whistle. There you go, and that is it. And the games are complete. It's 6-4, six, six, four. Four, ultimately. And, uh, well, hey, that's a surprise. Shibeer, although, although he started out so well, 11-9, 11, 11-8. Eight, 11, nine, 11, eight. Ultimately, it was JJ Jung that came through 11-9, 6-4. And uh, after 24 minutes, it's no wonder he's smiling a bit. Matilda congratulates him. But uh, Jill Parker is now going to tell us exactly where we stand with the team situation of Games 1. Well, Mays has got 256 and JJ's 248. Uh, and that 256 has what impact? It means they're in second place? They're in second place with Pearson is 258. OK, but Team JJ still, we need to win everything from now on in order to get anywhere close to qualification. But, um, well, Team Mays certainly, they have a big chance of going to the top of the leaderboard and fighting for the big money next month. It was a great competition. It's a good matchup here. And Pearson, Pearson is way out in front at the moment, although uh, Team Mays are definitely chasing hard.
two all in games then. Young Sik fights back well. That's really good. Shebeyev will be disappointed with a two all draw there. I think we're going to be having a quick chat with Young Sik. A two all draw means that in this fixture, team JJ still takes the lead. Jung Young Sik here winning the last two games. Are you happy with these two points? Happy? Yes, today my play uh, good. Uh, Shibayev, good play. Uh, today, good, happy. Okay. What about, you know, these two points? Did it help your team? Are you, are you hoping that your team will make it to the final? Yes. JJ team, final goal. Okay, thank you, Young Sik. Uh, that was from his side. Uh, Alexander Shibayev and Young Sik's draw means that Team JJ still takes the lead, which makes way for the women's battle in the top four next. Welcome back to T2 APAC. This one is going to be a cracker of a match because Liu Fei, our league leader, is currently on top, so she is confirmed to the grand final. So now the fate is up to Feng Tianwei. It's in her hands. She needs to win at least two games for her to step into the final. Let's just check it out, what I, I just reiterated. Liu Fei is currently on top. As for Feng Tianwei, she's at number five. If Feng Tianwei beats Liu Fei by two points. Cheng Yiching drops out, so Cheng Yiching will not make it, and Feng Tianwei steps into the final. With that, do you have any last warning for Liu Fei? She says, watch out, Liu Fei. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's allow Liu Fei to pick a color on this coin. Hong Se for Liu Fei, for luck. It's blue, so Feng Tianwei to serve. Tu ni men hao yun. So, Feng Tianwei, the heroine of table tennis in Singapore, formerly, of course, from Harbin, Heilongjiang in China. We've got another Chinese player opposite her. And Feng Tianwei has been on the top for a long time. She's 30 years old now, but uh, against Liu Fei, the 22-year-old, there's a lot at stake right here, I tell you. Feng Tianwei, with the facing the camera there, will uh, certainly want to be playing at her very best today. She started the week feeling a bit under the weather, but uh, she's feeling a lot better now. So Liu Fei is in danger, although she's got the highest rank of 23. 
She's in danger of finding a Feng Tianwei in great form here. But the interesting thing is, they look at the ranking. She's at number one at the moment, having won 50 games overall. And uh, it means that we've got a big, big challenge here for Feng Tianwei. She's won 47, needs to pick up two games overall in these 24 minutes in order to guarantee her place in the final. Cheng Yijing is at 48, just one ahead. And Bernadette Sox at 49, but it looks like Bernadette cannot be uh, um, displaced. 47 games won, I've just been mentioning that. But uh, the heroine of Singapore, when they won in 2010 the World Team uh, Table Championships in Russia, in Moscow, I was very, very happy. Wang Ryun Fun is our umpire for this one. Good to see her. But uh, very happy to be watching that China v Singapore final where Feng Tianwei was an absolute heroine. I was in tears at the result, I can tell you, it was unbelievable. But now, can she repeat that kind of form and go through to the final four where the big, big money is at stake? What do you reckon, Jill? Is it uh, possible? It, uh, I uh, don't like to predict too much, but it is possible. She's a great player. And of course, well, we've got here the big defender, Liu Fei. You know a lot about defending. You won the European Championships a while ago by defending stoutly. And obviously, the style of play with the chopper is very much your scene. Yes, I mean, she's a, a beautiful, graceful defender. Liu Fei, watched her play yesterday. We did. We said she could have been a ballet dancer. It's that exquisite. It's an art form, isn't it? It certainly is. I mean, she's very graceful around the table, but she's able to not only play defensive shots, but attacking shots, as we see there, just to try and break the game up. Hong Tong Wei will be trying to keep it consistent. Just wait for the right ball. It pops up. Okay, that's one three, three one. Wen Tianwei will really want to get off to a big start here. Take one game and then it's just requiring one more. I, I, I believe that she, she's got a superior points position as well. So one will probably just do it. But that's a great start here at 4 1. Tianwei is in great, great uh, ambition form because there's a lot of money at stake as well as pride for the team that she's representing as well. Chen Wei, of course, is already th through with Mays in the team final. Two, four. Cha Yo, Cha Yo. They're both originally China players, so Cha Yo is very, very familiar. More oil, more fire. Went for it, missed it. Yeah, a lot of variation of spin when Lou defends. There yeah, she it did pop up, but that was a float. And Fung overhit the ball. Left, three, four. Uh oh, back to four all. Interesting. Chanwei has got a fabulous history, actually, originally from Harbin. She played in 2005, she played in the Japanese Professional League, and then spotted by Liu Guodong, who'd come to Singapore. The coach invited her over, and she started uh, playing for the Singapore team. Part of the foreign sports talent scheme in those days. But uh, then has become a real heroine in table tennis, supported by the Singapore Sports Council now, and uh, has made a great life for herself. Oh, missed it off the top, five ball. This is really, really tense. She knows she's got to pick up the games. Desperately wants to win this first one. And she's missed that one. Lou keeps the ball very low on her defensive strokes. It's so... Uh, Fung has got to top spin it up. She gets a good length as well. 
bends on the baseline, which is always difficult as well for an attacker. Oh. Well, things are not going quite the way she'd hoped at the moment, but still this time it's 5-7. Bronze medalist, of course, in London Olympics for Singapore. First one, and that is a good service. 6-7, bouncing around, the concentration, the intensity is really, really palpable inside this T2 cavern. Oh, great shot. That's where the surprise element comes in with the defender. Yeah, that was a lovely shot there. And she put that, uh, set it up well. She changed the spin. Fong just pushed it, but she was able to come in and make that winner with the backhand. Gee, you need great patience if you're an attacker. It's so frustrating. Great rally, absolutely brilliant rally, brilliant rally. Seven, eight, eight, seven. And that was a superb rally. It was a very patient. I mean, both players trying to make it difficult for their opponent, changing the spin, changing direction. No wonder she celebrates because that was really, really hard fought. And there's another seven. miss there from Tian Wei. She's very aware of. Her ambitions, 7-9, but she's got the serve. Oh, what a great flashing forehand. And that is now game points, 7-10. Beads of sweat on the brow of Feng Tianwei, you can understand that. That's, uh, that's another great, great shot, but it's 10-8 in favor of Liu Fei. And she will get the serves as well, so she can dictate the start. Game points. Oh, that's it, 11-8. And Liu Fei has started out with a victory. JJ, again, will be smiling, that is for certain. Picked up another point, but Feng Chan Wei has got the nerve jangling. 17 minutes left in this game to pick up, or this match, to pick up two games. Team 49 now, JJ, and the game's won. But this is now do or die time for Feng Tianwei. She needs desperately this one. She's picked up the first point. Let love one. And the second point as well, now with the service. So a good start here. She's got to now try to find a way through the, to break the defense of this super, super Claire Liu Fei. Oh, off the net and away. One, two, two, one. Yeah, frustration. table tennis I tell you it's, it's not the big hitting but it's the really beautiful craftsmanship isn't it Jill yes it certainly is I don't think um, sometimes we can appreciate the amount of spin that's on the ball or change of spin very heavy medium spin and no spin that Lou Fei is putting on the ball oh dear oh dear just when you think it's safe to come out you get a you hit like that behind your back, it's unbelievable. What a shot. Yeah, and then she comes in with a shot like that just to keep her opponent on her toes. Let two, three. So an attacker against a player like this can't just relax. 
because they never know when the attacking shot will be coming at them. And that's off, that's real. And Chan Wei is really, really struggling to be consistent here. She's got all the shots, we know that, but it's very much a mental challenge. That's better, that is better. She's got to stretch her a little bit, bring her in and then force her out on the backhand side in particular, I would say, that's the tactic. Four, three. It's good stuff, I love it. Four, three. Four. There you go. Yeah, nice. It's that first ball, I think, uh, on the end ways, got to play a little bit harder, the first ball. Otherwise, if you play slow, then... Lou Fay gets into a rhythm. It's always difficult, the first ball hard into a defender. Oh, again, oh, fabulous. Inside with the closed angle of the top spin forehand. Just look at this fantastic shot. Just like you said, the surprise element is such a big weapon. Okay. Still hanging in here. It really is a fascinating battle. 6-4. Chen Wei. And another big point. That is a huge point at this juncture. 7-4. Mays knows the team position is intact, but the individual Feng Tian Wei position is certainly not at the moment. And now that's a little bit better, 4-8. I'm gonna have to check the, uh, the records in a minute, but I believe, although Jun, our host, suggested that two would do it, that's for sure. I've got a feeling that one game win would win it because of the point situation. Ching Yi Ching has got uh, a point one of 672. Uh, hitherto, at, uh, there was a, uh, a Feng Tian Wei of 685. So certainly two would seal the deal, but that is a nice Bit of luck for Tung Tian Wei. Okay. Again, that really, really big hit is one that Tung Tian Wei is not handling at the minute. But she's got a four point lead, and it's a huge one because she's also got the serve. 9 5. Less than 12 minutes. And now at 10-5, five, five game points. Surely she's going to take this, Jill. I would think so. She's playing very sensibly now. Waiting for the right one. Great defence. Unbelievable defence. Oh, fantastic defence. Oh, that's superb. Her footwork is so quick. And no matter where the ball is, she's in position. Six. Plays eight. it low. Ooh, pain, pain. Still game points, though, for Feng Tian Wei. Bit of patience required here, maybe. Oh, she's missed it. And that is. Oh, did she make it? She did no, make it. Oh, my God. The goodness. winner. Oh, not another one. Gee whiz, it went so fast. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, it was a beauty. <gasps> wow, 7 10. Still more pain and anxiety for all of us here for Feng Tian Wei. She's done another. Oh, yo, yo. Wow, Liu Fei. Liu Beauty. Fireworks are plenty here. Well, the Chinese invented fireworks. I tell you what, they might have done it through table tennis. Unbelievable. No wonder we've got a timeout here called by Mays. Feng Tian Wei is still not a great across the line at the moment. I think sometimes when you 
May is doing his best they really short. to get her there. Then after you can attack. I think dangerous when only soft, 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 soft. Then she gets very good spin and everything in the ball. Yeah. Come on, you have two serves now. Concentration, full concentration on the next two serves. Play good. If you have the chance, you can play hard on the first ball. Otherwise, you build your game. Come on. Come on. Well, Jelsey. Honey. You, you can just uh, hear what he said there, but uh, he did say you've got two serves now, which is correct. But she's actually got three points to take it because it's going to be a sudden death. That's that's right. I mean, he, he told her there, just, you know, just play your game. But if you can, put a, a fast one in. So if you play at the same pace. Oh, she's missed it. It's 10-9. It's getting nervy, nervy time here. Fung Chan Wei has been pegged back, but you have to hand it to Liu Fei. She's been hugely frustrating with the quality of her play, but it's the, it's the counter that is so, so impressive. 10-9, still game point. Oh, that's it, it's 11-9, and Fung Chan Wei has picked up the all-important single game. Mays will celebrate, and Fung Chan Wei, you cannot believe, she is almost exhausted after one game here. Absolutely brilliant celebration, but wow, she's been pushed all the way, Jill. Yeah, absolutely superb, that. And Michael was right when he said, play that, you know, hard one, fast one, make it difficult for her. And that's exactly what she did. So, let's have a look at the, the leaderboard at the moment then. Fong Chan Wei now has 48 games won. One more, and she is definitely through. But my interpretation is that uh, when they're leveled up, Cheng Yi Cheng has also got 48 games won. But I've got to believe, I believe that that's, uh, now they're same on games difference. 18. But we'll see. Two will do it. Oh, oh no! Oh, it was so close. Gee, she had to keep an eye on that one. Well, that didn't miss by much. No, it didn't. Oh, gee. Man, that's a really good shot. That was very, very clever. Liu Fei has not been put on the wrong foot too many times, but on that occasion, she certainly was. Missed it. One, right tactic, though. That first ball, if she can play it harder and faster, especially into the middle. That's an advantage for, for Fung Tian Wei. Oy, well, that loopy top spin that came out of the, the sky. There's no way that that one's going to come down onto the table. Two all. Look good, at the, sorry. Sorry, good change of, sp of spin there by Lou. Putting that float ball in. Missed it too. Three, two. She defends Lou. It's sometimes difficult to see whether she chops or floats it. Good deception with the use of the bat angle and the wrist. And she's missed another one on the forehand side. I think so much of the relief of picking up that first game, she's now just, she's got to focus, got to keep the concentration, but it's, uh, she's got a struggle here. Every single point is so hard mentally Jill yes it is I mean it's a it's like cat and mouse isn't it with the, the attacker and the defender just waiting for that ball to pop up to put a make a winner just look at the movement around Liu Fei is just such a beautiful mover look at her go oh wow what a pop-up that was unbelievable 5-2 wow with a lot of spin on that ball. Fung trying to take it early. And she almost missed the ball. Trying to put the power play in and then dropping it short. But 
Liu Fei is right over it, except on that occasion, she totally missed it, took it off the top of the bat, off the edge. But uh, big relief for Feng Xiaowei. Let's just miss that one. How many forehands has she gone off the table? Well, to be fair to Lu Fei, she's changing the spin from back spin to no spin. So if Hong Tan Wei doesn't read it, she doesn't change the bat angle on a, a drive shot. So much in that rally. There was so much action happening. Excellent work. She's wincing a little bit, but at 6-4. Liu will take the service, and there's going to be a, a really big effort here from Feng Tianwei. No, she's missed that one. Five minutes and 40 seconds. Well, uh, how many games they're going to get in? They'll be lucky to get four in. If Liu Fei wins this one, then it'll all be down on that final game from Tianwei to get into the final four. She's missed it. Four eight. She's got a uh, she's got a decision to make here. She's going to fight all the way through. Take up. Most of the time, trying to get this game, or is she going to give it away? Give it away and concentrate on the last one, I think, probably. It's a big, big decision. 4-9. Okay, 5-9. Five, 9-5. Nine. Nine, five. Yeah, it's very tense. It's a very simple... Simple scenario at the moment. New fate, top of the leaderboard, but that is unbelievable. From Chen Wei has decided she's going to challenge and see if she can really take this one. Oh, missed the backhand. And that is now all going to be resting on the final game, I think. From Chen Wei will serve. She's missed it, it's 11-6. So, Liu Fei and JJ pick up the second one. It's 11-6 in that, 2-1 in games. And uh, there's no doubt at all, Feng Tianwei has left it right to the end to see whether or not she can confirm her place in the final round next month. It's a big, big payday if she can make it, but I have to say, Mays will certainly be supporting. Time delay is being called. That's the first Five, warning. I think that was the Feng Tianwei. Of course, she came unstuck last time. That was a really, really important... Looking at the scenario now, in the kill zone match where she lost... The kill zone game where she lost a point for time delaying. And now, this is crucial. What is her mental strength like? Three minutes left so whatever the score is at the end of time will count every point vital no oh, she's missed it two love love two and a clever play there by Lu Fei put no side spin pushes in Quite. You can see there on the slow mo yeah, how it so goes around the ball. Her defense is unbelievable, too. Look at that three. Love three. Bon Tianwei is getting dispirited at the moment. That's a dangerous situation. Love three. Two and a half minutes left. She needs to get on the board. That's one way of doing it. Every point counting, whoever is leading at the end of time. Two minutes and 18 seconds left. And that is a big, big miss off the service. Yeah, she won't be happy with that. She will think that's an unforced error. Oh. 
So close, and she moved beautifully to it and thought she had it. And again, one minute, 50 seconds, two points required by Feng Jianwei to even get level. Oy, turn away time. Two, four. Yo, that's great for three, four. Three, four, one minute and 35 seconds. I know I'm building up the tension here, but it is that very, very tense inside this T2 cavern. Three, four. Huge, huge point this. The rallies are really, really coming to a head now. For all, well played from Wei. She desperately needs the next point and two. We have got the time. Now, one minute left for all. Liu Fei will serve. That's a great start for Feng Jianwei. Oh, it's on the edge. 5-4 with 45 seconds left. That is extraordinary. Feng Jianwei can still do it. It is absolutely huge, huge tension and atmosphere. And that edge, although she apologizes, we're celebrating in, inside, that's for sure. Oh, forehand here, 4-5. Four, on the serve, 26 seconds left. And it's out for four, five or 20 seconds left. But Feng Tianwei has got the service here, Jill. That will be such an important one. Yeah, she'll be looking now to try and follow that in if she can. Here she we go, 10 seconds this left. This is important. Yeah, it's vital. Who wins this point wins the match. The game, Feng Tianwei has got it! She has got it at 6-5, and look at the smile. She has made two games. Michael Mays gives her a big hug, an unbelievable drama inside the T2 cavern. Mays says, well done. He knows he's got a player into the final. He's got his team into the final. And unbelievably, Feng Tianwei, right at the death, has made it unbelievable by the skin of her teeth. She's got 49 games all together, and just look at the drama. Hey, I don't know about you, but I've got goosey pimples, Jill. Good, good guys. Uh, that was a fantastic good. game, attack against defence, and both players playing superb. Really great table tennis. Wow, that is amazing. Well, I've, I've had a great uh, thrill and a privilege to be commentating on Feng Jianwei for many, many years now. But uh, I tell you what, that actually is up there with the biggest and best thrill for her to come through like that when dramatic style, when her opponent was absolutely dominating a lot of the exchanges, frustrating her with that beautiful, beautiful chop, but also this extraordinary ability to counter-attack well on both flanks, but particularly from the, the, uh, the forehand side. Liu Fei is something special. She's already through to the final, and Feng Wei is accompanying her as well. That was very, very special. Great for a commentator to get involved in, that's for sure. I was as thrilled as anybody right there. Great work. T2 Kevin erupts as Feng Wei and the next door neighbors, of course, Singapore. They have got a few supporters here. And you have to say that uh, they will be celebrating next month, 6th, 7th, uh, sorry, 7th, 8th, and 9th. We have the, uh, the finals here at the Pinewood Studios. It's Scandal Malaysia. That was a big point. It's marginal, it's millimeters, and it's magnificent. Let's go and have a look at the stats in just a couple of moments there. Look at the smile of Feng Chan Wei. Well done, young lady. Let's have a look at it. It must have been close. Look at that. 70 to 62 in favor of Liu Fei, and the serves won. But ultimately, Feng Chan Wei shows that she's got quality, she's got character, and she is through to the final next month. That battle went down to the wire now, didn't it? 2 all result, but that was more than enough for Feng Tianwei to step into the final. Thank Gong
呃，对我有一些帮助，然后对我有呃，接下来后面有一些指导，所以希望我们继续加油，在呃 final 的时候能争取夺冠。Feng Tianwei never lost her cool, even though she was trailing behind league leader Liu Fei. Now she steps into the final, bringing alongside her entire team. Team Mace is now in the final, ladies and gentlemen, which makes way for the climax of our league here. Two table tennis legends going head to head. That's next. Welcome back. This is the climax. We are closing regular season with two legends in their own right. Two former world number ones, Vladimir Samsonov versus Timo Ball. Let's look at the standings. Only two points separates them. Vladimir has to beat Timo by a two-point margin to make it to the final, while the road is e a little bit easier for Timo. But both can also make it true as long as the result is better than Jun Mizutani. So ladies and gentlemen, anything can happen here at T2 APAC. This is the final match of this very final fixture. Vladimir Samsonov versus Timo Ball. Vladimir, are you ready? Let's see, huh? Timo, it's the last one. Give us a good show. We uh, wish both of you all the best. Okay, Vladimir, please pick a color. Red for Vladimir. It's red indeed. Vladimir Samsonov to serve. Good luck. Well, he's won the service, but can he win the match? He needs to win it by two. And I have to say, Vladimir Viktorovich Samsonov, one of the greatest players of all time, has uh, really, really got a big challenge here because Timo Ball is in fantastic form. They're uh, the old men of the sport, you might say. 36-year-old 30, uh, uh, Timo Ball, 41-year-old uh, Vladimir Samsonov. There he is, highest rank of one, of course. We all remember that time. But at uh, ranked at 15 at the moment. But you, I tell you what, that belies his form because he's 144 games at the moment in the six-month competition and uh, he's ranked at fifth in the leaderboard but Timo Bo will certainly at ranked at third in the uh, in the situ in the leaderboard at the moment will certainly be favorite for this we've seen some hugely entertaining matches and of course Timo Bo up against his compatriot Dmitry Ovchirov in the World Cup where he just lost out but the story is actually developed because he came back with the greatest, greatest comeback in the quarterfinals. 
And uh, here's our umpire for this one. Pari Kalili, lovely to see you. Last match of the of the sixth round of competition. I'm sure we'll see you next month as well. But um, this is the final matchup. And uh, I've no doubt at all we're going to be thrilled with this one. JJ, well, he's already not going to get through the final in terms of his team. But Samsonov is hoping to be here in the individual competition. Jill, this is a really, really big battle to finish off our coverage. It certainly is. And these two did play each other in round one, and it was two games each. Well, 24 minutes of play. And if we get a two all here, you'll hear my voice breaking, I'm sure, because it will be hugely exciting. He's quick, he's so fast. And psychologically, I've been told that he's got this extraordinary ability to think that every point he plays is nil-nil. That's amazing, isn't it? So you're not looking at scoreboard pressure. No, exactly. I think he just plays each point as it comes. Doesn't worry about the score, which is uh, the right thing to do. One, four. Yeah, Timo is definitely in the mood. He is um, at 46 games won compared with Samsonov's 44. And that is a huge head start. But of course, Chuang Chi Yuan has also made big improvements as well when he played his match earlier. So it really is, I think, a big uphill task for Vladimir. Already five ones. Oh, what about that? <laughs> He anticipated it so well, had the block there immediately. A bit more than a block, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a counter top spin straight off the bounce. Started well here, ball. So fast. So fast, beautiful. Hardly a back lift there. He's tall, he's rangy, but he's such a composed player. Look at the variety of play. Backhand to forehand to backhand. On that occasion, it came in short. 7-3. Yeah, well, he's receiving. He knows he's got to try and step in early. And there's another risk, and it's a problem here. 3-9, Samsonov struggling. Less than two minutes played. 3-9. Actually, a little lot more than two minutes, I beg your pardon. It's very quick, hasn't it? Yeah. Flashing through. Yeah, OK. It's 3.10. Vladimir has really not come to the party at the moment. And that is why it's 11.3. And Timo Ball for Team Mays has been motivated by the fact that they're already in the, uh, the finals in the team events. Up against Pearson, you have to say that he is uh, really, really in control. He wasn't flustered, no big problem here, but Samsonov definitely with that hammering, you have to say, is under pressure. Yeah, Timo Ball started really well in that first game, very aggressive. Uh, Keeping the ball on the table when, you, when you're under pressure and defending is so important. It paid off there for Timo. Missed it there again. Good forehand, solid forehand from the middle of the table from Vladimir. Oh no, high ball toss. Yeah, a great reach there, wasn't it? Third game, uh, third point. Yeah, he's got long levers as. Samsonov able to get to the ball, but he reads it so well. Seems yeah. to know where the ball's going. Yeah. That was a fabulous shot because he uh, pushed him into the the back of uh, the left hander's backhand side, kept him there. Oh, what a shot! Oh, oh. don't discount him. Whatever you do, that would be a huge error. What a shot that was! And it was disguised. Do you see his eyes? His eyes were going down the line and the ball went across table five. on the diagonal. Amazing. Look at this, 5-1. I've got to keep looking at my scores here. Five. 
Wow. Samsonov at 45. He needs, well, in fact, Timo Boll is now at the 47 after that first game. Problems for Samsonov. Uh, Five, two. There's not going to be enough time for Samsonov to actually get back into this, I don't think. 19 minutes left. Okay, it's a good, good effort. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely superb timing. Timo Boll. Placement as well. Was, was excellent. Yep, Timo Boll is not normally beaten outside. Oh. <laughs> yeah, lovely, that one down the line. What a change from the women's game that we've just witnessed in the match to this one. It is just so different. How do different ways to play this game. Ah, good work. 4-8. 18 minutes left. Timo Ball in the lead by one love. Samsonov needs at least four. But he's starting the fight here really well. Oi, okay, we'll take that 4 9. He'll desperately want a kill zone game as well. Okay. Well, there's no need to be generous, Timo, but that was certainly a gift. 10 4 game points, Samsonov. Oh, yeah, well, just a little bit further into the body, and that made the difference. But uh, great exchanges there. 10 5. Samsonov's got the serve, he can dictate. And he has dictated, and he's won the game. It's 11 points to 5. Samsonov still ever, ever hopeful that he can do it. He's now moved up to 45 games. But Timo Boll has got 48, and I think that's the same as Chuan Chi Yuan. So three more required, only a limited amount of time left here. To his forehand. Very clear. OK? Don't make three. No, no time. No time can be you twice. You know? Yeah? Long backhand, long ball service. Very good. I like service, long back. Huh? Oh. Did you pick up any of what uh, JJ said there? Oh, only long backhand serve is good. Time. I wasn't really quite Take sure it. what he was meaning Some about his forehand. Love. Well, there's oh. not a great deal. I would think that you could tell Samsonov. He's been very used to ploughing his own furrow. Not too many coaches can actually tell him he's such an individual player. That's a great start. Yes, and I'm sure these two have played each other many times before. Absolutely. So they know each other's game inside out. Well, they do. Yeah. And of course, uh, Timo Boll playing for Borussia uh, Dusseldorf in the ETTU team yeah. events and Gazprof, uh, uh, Gazprom Faco was, uh, in Orenburg was the team that um, actually won wow. the ETTU competition in the team event with Vladimir and also with Ofchirov and Jun Mitsutani as well. So they are flying high in terms of the teams, but you're right. In fact, I've got a note here that when they played Borussia Dusseldorf, I've got a feeling that was the quarterfinals. Samsonov beat Carlson and Ofchirov beat Boll, so they won free love. So he, he's certainly not going to be overwhelmed by Timo Boll, that's for sure. He's got a big ambition. 2-3. Oh, 3-0. The big problem for Samsonov is not the opposition, it's the clock here at the minute. 15, just under 16 minutes left. He needs three games. Left, three, off. Okay, well. Four. Nice, nice 
good shot there oh. from Timo, wasn't it? Spinny backhand there. It's just a slower pace. These players happy to play away from the table sometimes as well. Four, five. The crafty bowl is now coming in. Not just the power, but the placement there. Beautiful. Four, five. Oh, you beauty. The lefty comes up with a flashing backhand. Super, super surprise there. 6 4. Sensational shot. Watch this one. Bang. Didn't see it. Uh, right off the bounce, that was. 7 4. Timo Ball looking to confirm himself into the finals next. Uh, Month on his own, trying to overcome. Mitsutani is at 48. Ofchov is already up in the lead position, but uh, if he picks up two, he then goes level with Mitsutani. Top four going through. Big problem here for Samsonov. He was in the lead at 4 3. And there now is this out at five. That's, Jill has just helped me by suggesting that Chuang Chi Yuan now is also at 48 after his victory. So there's three on 48 games one at the moment. Timo Bowl is on. There you go. And he will be at 48 games one if he comes up with this point. And he's got it. It's 11 points to five. And I think that is the end of Samsonov's bid to actually get into the... Uh, into the final top four. Obchulov, Mitsutani, Bowl and Chuang. Looks like they've made it right here. Big smiles from Mr. Mays. What has he got to say? Don't get injured. Don't get anxious, okay. And it's nice of him to talk to me. <laughs> well, Vladimir will have his head down here because he was hoping for the best. But Timo Bowl is at 2-1 at the moment. Little uh, time left on the clock, about half the time. There you go, 13 minutes left. Not enough time to make a difference to the qualifying leaderboard. And okay, it's that ball toss that we're looking at. Yeah, wants him to throw it up a little bit higher. Yeah. Assistant umpire. Okay, one all. Oh, two love, beg it, beg it, but of course, Samsonov was in the lead. Bigger button. Now he's got the service, he needs to whip through this very quickly. Okay, well, that's a good start. Three love. Put that fast one in. Oh, he took the edge. He goes about his business without any problem at all. He said he was very tired. Ishwin Mude last, uh, the earlier in the week, but I tell you. He's livened up significantly, and that match that he played with Ovcharov, who played with a, a tummy problem as well. It was a fantastic, sensational, what was it? Three all? Yeah. Yeah, it was, I mean, match. tremendous game. Unbelievable. But both these players have had a very busy season. They've had World Championships, oh. Europeans, World Cup. So no wonder Timo Bowles feeling a little bit tired, plus his matches in Germany as well, and Pro Tour events. Uh, funny thing is, I was talking to him and said, uh, surely at your age, you know, what, 36 at the minute? 37? No, 36. He, um, I said, you'll be there, you'll be playing the same length of time as Samsonov. He says, the problem is, I play a much more physical game than Samsonov. And, uh, well, you can see here, he certainly puts everything into it. And although Vladimir, he acknowledges he might be economical with his movement, he's just got such anticipation, it's brilliant. There you go, good stuff. Hey, hello, 7-3. I think the important thing for a table tennis player, you've got to enjoy what you're doing. So, um, if you can play into your 40s, then that's great. When did you retire? I was... 31. I was relatively young, but at that time, all those years ago, I, I wanted a family that was thought of as being old. <laughs> 31 years old, okay, well, that was an important 
choice, wasn't it? And difficult for a lot of these players, particularly the female players. They've got to make those choices as well. It's really tough. It's a professional sport. Very difficult. Well, I don't think Timo is being generous here. I think he is uh, putting up a battle, but he knows that he's already in such a good position here. 48 he's got at the minute. Ten minutes left, and uh, Samsonov can level things at two all. And he's done it there, 11 5. Samsonov has it at two all. But I'm looking at my notes again, and he's only got 46. Surely we haven't got enough time for him to uh, to get into the reckoning. Mitsutani's got 48. Timo Boll, 48. Chung Chi Yuan, 48. Unbelievable. And at the moment, Samsonov, 46. Uh, one of them will be disappointed, and it could well be Vladimir Samsonov, I'm afraid. But it's been a great battle, isn't it? Really, really fascinating. Two all in games. Samsonov will serve for the fifth. And a miss there. Look at him. He wants to come back, and he's in less than 10 minutes. But there's two games at stake here. And that, wow, hey, are we going to get yet an extraordinary turn of events? T2 has been throwing up surprises all the time. Wow, watch out. Timo thinks he is escaping here with uh, 48 games. I'm going to tell you again, 52 for Ostrov, 48 Mitsutani, 48 Timo Boll, 48 Chuang Kieran, 46 with Samsonov, with just a bit more time to go. Samsonov 3-2 with the service. Oh, a bit lucky there for 2-4. Miss that one for 2 5. Oh. And that's for 6. 6 2. Seven and three quarter minutes left in the match. But Samsonov, if he picks up the third, that will put him at 47 games. Oh, look at this, 7-2. It's really interesting. Samsonov, the wily old fox, I tell you, is finding a way here. What a battle. Superb stuff for 2-8 now. Still time. You know what? We could get more than two games in. 2-8. Oh, and that block doesn't quite make it, but there's still time left at 3-8. Never, ever discount Vladimir Samsonov. He is just a stunning player, full of quality. And he's such a bright guy as well. I tell you, 9-3, look at this. Two more points required, and he's still got over six minutes left. Oh, and what a great angle that was. Extraordinary. Wow, T2 is going to give us excitement right to the end. And he's saying, come on, let's get it. Wow. Okay, little warnings here, but Samson off at 9-3. That won't put him off. That's okay, four, but he's still got big profit in the bank at the moment. 9-4, Samson off serves the game. And that is for 10. 4-10. Four. Four, I tell you what, I might, you might think I'm trying to talk this up a bit. I'm not. It's real drama. Extraordinary drama. Samsonov misses that one. It's 5-10. But if he picks this one up, he's still got a little under six minutes then to make a charge and pick up another two games. 
Fantastic work for 11-5. Vladimir Samsonov, 3-2. JJ will be amazed at this, but look at the possibilities. If he can rush through the next game and win it, he's then got kill zone potential, and he could yet get into the final four. It's unbelievable. Look at this, 3-2. Vladimir Samsonov there, amazing. I think there, Bowl is looking at his leg, his knee. Him or ball, he looks a little relaxed, I don't know. Uh, six yeah, I, I saw him on the last couple of uh, rallies on, on no. that last game. He didn't move around on his... He is hobbling, isn't he? He is hobbling. As well. That's his left leg, and of course that's one that no. the left-hander is going to push out on, particularly for the forehands. This is really, really interesting. Timo's got the serve, two, three in games, and six, uh, five minutes left in the match. That's a miss, Stan. Every point now for Vladimir Samsonov counts hugely. Love one. I won love, brother. Oi, one all. Four minutes, 41. If he can rush through this, get to the line, it's then kill zone and everything to play for. There's another one. It does that leg pain, that knee pain really make a difference let's have a look miss that every point absolutely vital oh oh we'll get another ball thrown at him yes the ball thought that was coming longer but touched the table twice just keep an eye on the clock. Keep an eye on the clock. Vladimir needs to get these points in quick time. Four. Backhand to forehand, and the forehand wins out there. It's 4-2. Samsonov can still, he's still got time to fire him in. You know, it puts pressure on because that means 48 all in games. They've all got 48 at the moment, I believe. No, no, 47 there. And I've just been informed that Samsonov has a better games difference. So this is really, really special. It is building. What excitement. Five, two, three minutes. Let's Whoa. Five, two. Uh, well, as long as he got the serve in, he's really, really galloping home here. 2 6. Samsonov was unbelievably out of this, and then suddenly everything changes. Miracles do happen. 2 6. Let's hear you in Horenberg. Come on. Big shout. I want to hear Victor and Julia and all my friends there shouting for Samsonov. It's big money payday at stake here. 2.20, 2.7, and he's in trouble. He's in trouble is Timo Boll. 8.2, two. two minutes left. Kill zone potential coming up as well, less than two minutes. Timo is in trouble. Fabulous, fabulous table tennis, everything at stake, and he's missed it. Three, eight, but it's the time now that it's so important. If Vladimir picks up four, he goes to 48. He's still in the good position at the moment, and he's got good game difference as well. Eight, three, one minute 30. Oh dear, he's still gonna keep us guessing right at the end. But I think the situation, Jill, and what we gather is if he picks up four, it will be 48 all round with uh, Chuang and Bo and Samsonov, but he's got a really good position. They've stopped the clock there for a moment, 4-8. He could come through with this game. And that is nine, 4-9, nine. 122. We could still get the dramatic kill zone game. What a format T2 has put up in front of us. 
It's gone. Great Nine, service. Five. Less than a minute coming up. 9-5. Samsonov needs these both these services to work. Oh, that's a great shot nine, from Timo Ball. 9-6, 50, uh, 50 seconds left, 48 and counting. Yeah, stepped in well there, Ball, <laughs> for that forehand. Good defence. 30 seconds left, and, and it's now 10-6, 6-10. 28 seconds left, game point here, Samsonov on the verge of a miraculous recovery. An unbelievable situation here. How, what excitement. 17 seconds, oh, he's missed that one. 15 seconds left. He's got the match though, hasn't he? He's got the match here, 10 seconds left. It will need a calculator to work it out, but at six, five. Ball was served, needs it. And that is it, but the game is won by Samsonov. He has taken it, 10-8. He is now 4-2, and I believe that they're all 48. And Samsonov, I really believe he's got through to the final top four in the next round. It's been a, an amazing achievement if he has. I believe that's confirmed. I think Samsonov has come through at 4-2, and he does. There it is. Samsonov, Vladimir Samsonov, the 41-year-old, goes across to his fans. He has qualified for the big money final round as an individual. His team JJ are out of it, but he has come through. What a player, what heart, and what a finish. That is a miraculous achievement for Vladimir Samsonov. I have loved that, Jill. I don't know about you, but wow, that is something very, very special. Absolutely fantastic, and what a, a great match to finish on. And when you look at it, it's got four of them on 48. So, absolutely fantastic. Well, we came down to the game differences, ultimately. He had that better game difference. And I, I don't quite know at the moment who's dipped out. We will find that out in a while. But it's either Chuang Chi Yuan or Timo Bowl that has drifted out of contention in the last four, but it was something special. I've had a wonderful, wonderful round six. It's been a great privilege working with you, Jill. Thanks a lot for that. If we just see the highlights here, it's brilliant. I know I'm coming back for the uh, the final round next month. It's gonna be really exciting stuff. We've had a great, great time here in round six. Vladimir has made a really big, big impact. And there you go, 54-48. And despite those little problems that Timo Boll has, Vladimir Samsonov celebrates with a 4-2 win and a place in the final round. In the battle between two legends, Vladimir Samsonov and Timo Ball, Vladimir Samsonov emerged victorious, closing our regular season here with that 4-2 win. Vladimir, I have to ask you, do you think that four points was enough or not? Because uh, from second to fourth, it's all level on 48 points. Just take a guess. Did you make it to the final or not? Well, I mean, I, I knew that I needed four points and... Uh, well, I, I, I think so, right? Yes, you have made it to the grand finals of T2 Asia Pacific Table Tennis League. Congratulations, Vladimir. Today, um, you know, you did the best you could. What do you feel about your performance against Timo? Uh, I don't know. I think uh, it was a very tough game, and I was very tired before the match. And, uh, well, I don't know. I'm very happy that I won and uh, very happy to be in the finals. And, uh, well, that's terrific, that's fantastic. And, uh, you know, it was before match against Timo. I, I mean, you know, it's tough to beat him, you know, it's for uh, games, yeah. But, uh, I don't know. Of course, I'm very happy, very happy. Nevertheless, you make it to the final, and I'll see you then in December. Congratulations once again, Vladimir Samsonov. Let's now speak to your team captain, JJ Zhang Jialiang. Jialiang. 今天呢，你获胜了十七比十二。哎呀，可是就是差那一点点，你有什么想法？Well, first time I must say that thank you, Mace team. They they are the great team. Thank you very much. Yeah, 谢谢他们。Mace看到年轻啊。
model. He he's a model, yeah. Look like a model. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Michael is a model. In fact, working model once, uh, still working as a model. Too old, he says. No, he's lying. Okay, Jia Liang, uh, we've already reached the end. So, do you have any thoughts you want to share with us? You see, people are getting more and more. So many fans coming to uh, this place to watch table tennis. I'm very happy. This is good for improve the table tennis. Going forward, go future. Thank you. You all come to support the game. Come, 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 Absolutely, all of us were on the edge of our seats, especially you, when we were looking at you, you're just like, ah, oh, so frazzled, but meeting team person in the final, what's installed for us? No, I mean, it will be a huge game. I mean, we played some fantastic matches here so far, and I think we will play a great final, and I think everybody should come and, and support us. We need all the support we can need from the fans around, so come on. Thank you very much, Michael Mays. Team Mays versus Team Person in the grand final from the 7th to the 9th of December. Let's look back at how today's finale went for regular season. Team JJ actually had a good start when, uh, no, yeah, Team Mays had a good start when Yang Hayun won 4 to 1 against Matilda Ekholm. But then Team Mays, they came back. Uh, very, very strongly. However, Chong Chi Yuan and John Ji Hee, when they have won, it created a shock a little bit. And then two draws made us sit on the edge of our seats, especially with Feng Tian Wei. Uh, she qualified to the women's championship by only the narrowest of margins. And of course, so did Vladimir Samsonov beating Timo Bo 4 2. So this is the final standing for regular season. Dmitry Ocharov, Chuang Chi Yuan, Timo Ball, Vladimir Samsonov making it to the final by the narrowest of margins. Let's take a look as well at the bottom six. Alexander Shibayev, he ends regular season at number seven, above Paul Drinkle at eight, and Jong Yong Sik, our newcomer, at nine. Women's leaderboard, Liu Fei was always number one, but the story here is Feng Tian Wei going through to the grand finale at number third. Bernadette Search and Shi Xunyao joins them as well. Unfortunate for Cheng Yi Cheng. These are the bottom half. Yang Hai Yun ends the regular season at number seven. John Ji He at number ten, one up. Team Championship, Team May steps into the final as team number one above team person. They will be meeting in the grand finale later in December, right here at T2 Asia Pacific Table Tennis League. Separated by only two points, we're going to start from the 7th of December through to the 9th. We begin with the men's and women's playoff, then followed by the team final, women's final, and we end with the team and men's final on 9th December on Saturday. It's been an absolute pleasure being with you for regular season at T2 APEC. Next up, we'll see you at the final. So make sure you join us 7th to 9th of December here at Pinewood Iskander Studios. My name is Jun Yong. Bye-bye.